What's going on, everybody? It's Blackjack. Welcome back to Ace Academy. Um, now, I am a little disconjointed day-wise. I thought I was going to do this all on the same day. Um, I kind of somewhat remember being here. I think this was like just before Cowrie and I kind of trailed off on our own and did our own thing. Um, but yeah, it's a few days later from that. Uh, but I think both of these episodes should be coming out today anyway. So it'll probably make sense to you all at once. But for me, it's like these are three days separate. Um, all right, anyway, <laughs> the flowers are so beautiful. Yeah, okay, who cares? I'm glad you had fun, Mayu. I thought it was really pretty too. But I found the history of the place to be the most interesting part. Yeah, no one cares. Yeah. It was all right. <laughs> yeah, who gives a shit about the flowers? I almost ate the berries and then got a very nice moment out of it. It reminded me a little bit of home. On the outskirts of town, there was a cute little museum which also included a garden walk. Mm. That sounds really nice. Yeah, uh -huh. it was. Uh -huh. I thought it was good, but I could have used less. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was informative. Who gives a Enough shit? Of that. It's now time for the main event. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the hot springs. Thank you. Yay. I cannot wait to soak in that glorious water. Uh -huh. Seen here. Yep. Even Cowrie cracks a smile. She knows. Um, we could follow, sh uh, follow show into the hotel where we present our tickets. We had to wait what felt like a couple of hours at least when they had prepped the place. Afterwards, an attendant leads show to I. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, great. Uh, this is the life. Sure is. Not my eyes close. I nod my eyes. I nod and close my eyes. Uh, da, 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 hey, guys. Da. Hey, Akira. Akira? Mm hmm. What's up? Fancy seeing you here. Ah. Just about to say that to you. What are you doing here? We can't stay on campus today. So instead of practicing, my team and I decided to do the next best thing heal in the hot springs. Oh, that's nice. I'm having a smoothie. You have fun with that. That's why the other men in the spring, no wonder they all look my age. That's why everyone looks so familiar. I'm surprised we didn't recognize you guys. Kira smiles. We look different without our uniforms. It took me a few minutes before I recognized you two. In the distance, I hear a high-pitched squeal. What was that? Was that the girls? I think so. Their spring is right next to ours. Cool. Quick save. Uh, <clears throat> show perks up. Really? Yeah. I wonder what they're talking about. Let's find out. You mean eavesdrop? It's not eavesdropping if we're just checking on their well-being. I wonder, can I, can I refuse? I don't know, I've seen enough anime to know how this ends. Show laughs. Lucky for us, we aren't in an anime. We'll be fine. Ah, visual novel, anime, visual novel with anim uh, with uh, anime style characters. I uh, wouldn't go that far. It really doesn't make me feel any more confident about this decision. Kira climbs out of the water. I know a way we can slip in unseen. Oh, I, I guess we are going to do this scene no matter what then. How exactly? I can't give away my sources. Okay. We follow him out of the pool into the uh, changing room, grab some towels. And they're all giggling and shit. And May is there too. Yay! Ray! It's your turn, Valerie. Yay! Okay. You yeah, say Truth or dare? Truth or dare? Dare. Okay. Okay. Truth. All right. Fuck rules. What? No, I picked dare. Right. Truth. What should we ask her? Sex. Uh, uh, what is it like being with a boy? What is it like doing the thing with the guy? Everyone stares at her eyes. What? I just had a thought. So, what if you do actually end up with Valerie? And you do something before you get to the hot spring? Does this dialogue change? Because then everyone would know that I am with Valerie. And then they would have to ask this question. Ooh, now I want to know what happens if you did this and this were Valerie. Oh yeah, there, there's gonna be a lot of playthroughs, I, I, I imagine. Uh, why would you ask me that? <laughs> why not? Because you know. Even Cowrie shakes a pink, pink. Yep, whatever. Valerie brings. Oh, right. Um, okay. You see. Um. Now, I wonder if anything about me and Cowrie is going to come up. 
how do I put this? Yeah, tell us your weird explanation of how sex does not work. Okay, basically, imagine you have a motherboard on the different sockets. No. Ooh, and the power supply. And you can't forget the power supply. That is what? Supplies power. Mm-hmm. And once all those pieces are ready, then it's time to make sure all the wires are connected. Not how that it's works. It's also important to pick a good case because you want nope. to make sure every... <laughs> As Valerie continues with her explanation, the girls struggle to file along. Miley's brows are furrowed. Uh, and May is the one who calls bullshit. None of this makes sense. Nope. Valerie freezes and looks a little panicked. What? <laughs> oh, you've never actually been with. Valerie laughs loudly over May's voice. <laughs> You're so silly, May. What are you even talking about? Your analogy doesn't describe it at all. Mm-hmm. Callie crosses her arms. If she's not right, then what's it supposed to be? Oh, boy. May grins mischievously. Well, when a man and a woman love each other very much... And... It's all over. <laughs> Good job, show. Run! We scramble into safety. Do you think they saw us? Yep. They probably saw you. Oh, yeah. I'm throwing you way under the bus, dude. No! Akira, please tell me otherwise. Nope. It was pretty dark. Maybe they just saw a silhouette. Hmm. Ah, sorry. I'm really enjoying this movie. Um, for your sake, I hope that's all they saw. If I fall, I'm dragging you down with me. Nope. Me? It was in the hot mint's hot spring the entire time. Isn't that right, Akira? Of course. Mm -hmm. You guys! Oh, sucks to be show, cause show sucks. Wait for the girls. We get to meet here for dinner, yep. right? Have them merge. Do you think they really saw me there and now they've gone ahead without us? Mainly without you. Um, who cares? I shrug. Dinner's held in one room. We'll see them regardless. True, but you don't think they'd just leave us hanging there, right? Who cares? We have food. I don't know. What if this is all part of their plan for revenge? Leave us here waiting while they're all eating delicious food and laughing at us. Who cares? Or maybe they've retired to one of their hotel rooms. Dressed in their PJs. Continuing their conversation. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> just gonna stop you right there. But I was just getting to the good part. Yeah, this is why I'm gonna throw you under the bus. It's a pretty lame revenge as far as revenges go. I suppose that's true. We wait a little longer, and then they finally get over here. Up, oh, Valerie marches towards us. Show leans over to me. Oh God, they know. Should we just tell them? Keep cool, dude. Ah, uh, girls finally pause in front of us. Um, are you okay? Cowrie glares at the two of us across her arms. Of course not. We are surrounded by perverts. I'm also surrounded by Frankie from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, but I, I actually I kind of dug Frankie. Frankie, I I really liked Frankie. Like Frankie was a really cool character. Uh, shows eyes widen in panic, and even if I'm beginning to feel anxious, I was teasing him before, but maybe they really did see us. That uh, was Show's idea. Show looks like a deer in the headlights, and all the girls were matching expressions of shock. Joseph, I thought we were a team. What is this team shit? It was you. Uh huh. Callie looks strangely triumphant. I knew it. Mm hmm. Hey, Joseph was there too. Was not. Don't try to pin this on me. It was all you. Not so fast, Mister. I'm not convinced you're totally innocent. You seemed way too quick to point the finger at Show. Because it was actually his idea. Uh. Unisize. So you were there too. Uh, no. God damn it! All right. Uh, I'm sorry. I would have expected this from Show, but I thought there was still hope for you. Oh come on! It's me. I'm an idiot. Remember? Hey, what does that mean? The girl stare, stare blankly at Show. <laughs> he sighs. I'm sorry. Show, but why? We were just curious. Yeah, just like you guys are curious, but not not quite the same way we were. Her eyes wide and she covers her chest. What? How can you say that so freely? No, that's not what I meant. I just meant we wanted to know what you girls were doing. Uh huh. That doesn't make it sound much better. It really doesn't, actually. Why? Oh, sorry. No, no, no. I'm looking. Why is the CPU at 64%? 
there, there's two programs running. I'm recording this and just doing Ace. Why is it at 60% in dropping frames? Like, what is happening right now in the game that this is... Okay, it's finally dropping back down. Cowrie hits Joe in the arm and then hits me. Ow. Ow. But I'm strong. That's not, that's not supposed to hurt me. Stop being a pervert. Yeah, show. Uh, did I mention we're sorry? The girls glance at each other in unisize. I guess there's no point in staying angry since we can't change the past. Yeah, Cowrie glares at us. Don't even think about doing it again. I would definitely do it again once we're like not, but like just with you, just 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 you and me. Like it, not, not like it's not not. I I love you. We won't show nods vigorously. Okay, so what happens if I play this Don't the other way around? I also gotta remember that so fast, I should probably. Mister. I'm not convinced you're totally innocent. I did it again, yep. Um, okay, so if I do this one more time, here we yep. go. Uh, who cares? Or maybe I gotta be really careful about where I quick save. Alright, so here's where I should quick save. There we go. Uh I think last time I tried to play it off. What happens if I come clean? We're really, really sorry. The girls look at each other in surprise, but Kyrie narrows her eyes. I had a feeling it was you two. Hey, don't drag me into this. This is all Bros's idea. Nope. Don't listen to him. Of course it was his idea. Please. This type of thing just screams show. Yep. So you believe me? I believe that show was involved. Hey, Rosif could have acted alone. No. Nope. Not likely. I don't think so. Nuh uh. Yeah, see? <laughs> All of them. None of the girls even hesitated before answering. Wow. Even you, Mayu? Yes. Sorry. I can't believe you pervs were spying on us. What were you hoping to see? Mostly just cowering. Nothing? <laughs> uh, Valerie gave him a blank look. I mean, we weren't spying. We were eavesdropping. I wouldn't say that so proudly. How is that better? Dare I ask why? Uh, we heard someone shriek and wanted to make sure no one was hurt. Maya looks alarmed, uh, then she blushes deeply. Una Valerie bursts out laughing. Yuna hides a smile. Even Kauri looks amused. That's a weird reaction. What happened exactly? A spider crawled on Mayu. Ah, okay. See now, now everything's okay. And, and look, look at Show. Look at how, look, look how mailed. He's so mailed. Look at him. Look, look at that face. I don't know why he's just so mailed. Nothing. Mayu freezes after her outburst. Uh, Show and I exchange a look. S sorry to have troubled you. We're just glad that you're okay. Mayu smiles weakly. Thanks for your concern. See, the truth will set you free. No problem. Cowrie crosses her arms. You're not going to get off the hook that easily. Please, babe, just let me get off the hook this easily, this one time. We're sorry, but we were genuinely concerned. Yeah, if you didn't want us over there, you shouldn't have screamed. What? Uh, show, please. What? It's true. Show, please. Just shut up. Let's just accept their apology and move forward. Yay. What? Clearly it was a misunderstanding, mm -hmm. and I'm sure the boys have learned their lesson. Yes, right? we have. We certainly have, Yuna. Thank you. Right. Right. Yep. There's no point in going back and forth anymore, and there's nothing else to say about the matter. Yep. Cow Cowry scowls, but reluctantly agrees. Fine. But if I catch you guys doing something like that again, I'm going to make you regret you were born. Mm -hmm. I love you, too. Yes, uh, ma'am. We promise we won't do it again. Since that's all settled, does that mean we can finally go eat? Carrie sighs. Yes, we can go eat. <laughs> it just sounds so much like a mom. Finally, I thought my stomach was going to eat itself. Not possible. You're so dramatic. Yes. I'm pretty hungry too, actually. So am I. Let's go then. And then we ate dinner. Then it goes bad as I thought. I'm just glad it's behind us now. When we arrive at the dining hall, we settle at our table. The hotel offers a pre... Yeah, whatever. 
she didn't want to stay after the incident, so she went to find her teammates. <laughs> oh, that must have been fun, too. Did she ever finish explaining? None of your business! <laughs> All the girls' faces are bright red, even Valerie's. I wonder <laughs> if that means she did finish. Oh, 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 oh. When, when we get back to our room, there could be some things that could get finished, if you get what I mean. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm in a room with show. Never mind then. That that joke doesn't work. <clears throat> as soon as the food arrives, it's at 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Notice all my checklist, email from Dashu, the coaching session with Ivan. Right, 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 right. You know where's a broad grin. Did you all get that email? Yeah. I'm so glad Coach Ivan will be on campus. Yay! Me too! Oh, he's one of my idols. He's my American idol. He's Russian. Um, really? Of course! He's a working legend. Hmm. I've never heard of him. He's almost as famous as the Akamis. The who? The show looks thoughtful. Actually, Mayu, doesn't your family know him? Yes, but not very well. They respect each other, of course, but aren't close friends. That's why I've never met him. Oh, that's right. Mayu's last name is Akami. That's right, she's from a line of pilots. I'm looking forward to what he can teach this team. There's a reason why he's won three championships and received the MVP <coughs> award twice. Seth Curry? Actually, that joke does work for him. Seth Curry, yeah, the, the Warriors have three and he's won MVP twice. That does work. Wow, this guy sounds impressive. I heard no matter where he goes, he always wears his signature helmet. Cool. Her, you heard of him too? Oh, I've heard that too. I wonder if he'll wear it tomorrow. Probably. Yay. Um. Wait, 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 what? At first, to kind of show up, uh, agrees, but the girls refuse. Okay, so they don't come with us. They go to their rooms. Oh, no, I don't get any alone time with Kauri. Um, kept yawning. We already booked. All right, so now we're leaving. Mayo and Kauri are both uh, wide awake and perky as either of them could be. You and Valerie seem even more exhausted than Show and I. I wonder what was going on in their room. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Turd Burger. Someday. Someday you will know. About the birds and the bees. Before my mind can wander too far, I snap back to reality and glance guiltily at Kauri, who has her eyes narrowed. Why would you do that to me? Don't narrow your eyes at me. You love me. Can you read my thoughts now, too? Good thing I wasn't thinking anything perverted. Ah, we're back on the train. Are we there yet? Oh, <coughs> it feels like an eternity. We arrive at Izokaze. Should probably save. Finally. Um, yep. Quick goodbye. Everyone goes. Nothing with Kaori. I wonder if I ruined my moment there. What a time is it that I missed the coaching session. I fumble around. My clock's only 11. Won't be, in <coughs> Won't be in there until mid-afternoon. I have plenty of time. Anyone free? Uh... Really? My, ch my choices are show or Yuna. <coughs> I mean, I guess I could hang out with Yuna. Uh, fine. Let's, let's, let's hang out with show. What's up, Broseph? No. Jeez, I put my phone away from my ear. What do you mean, no? You can't call me Broseph. Broseph is your name, Broseph. Okay. What's up? What are you doing this fine evening? Not nothing. I, also, it's not an evening. It's it's 11 in the morning. D dude, time! Excellent. I'll meet you at the Izokaze Park. Why? You'll see. See you in a few. God damn it. Alright. Well, whatever it is. The show's excited. It's gotta be fun. The tantalizing sense of food waft us through the streets as I search for a parking space. The park is illuminated with hanging lanterns and packed full of stalls. This is some kind of festival. So lingers at the outskirts of the park and runs over towards me. There you are, Brosif. Yay. What's all this? It's a festival, of course. Oh, right. I've already done this. Hold on. Hey. Yuna, hi. Um, oh, no. Hello? This is the tennis one, isn't it? No, I... Uh, I don't care about either of these. This is going to get a full thing to skip. This might just... Um... Oh, this is different. Does it, sorry, sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, sh I probably shouldn't skip through all this. Okay. Jeez, you don't know? No, should I? Of course. Everyone knows it's the Festival of Dongos. I did not know that. 
Uh, you have no idea, do you? I just told you. They sell all kinds of dongo here. But why is there even a festival where they can sell dongo? He blinks. Does it matter? Now come on! Wait, are we gonna wait for the others? Show scratch at the back of his head. This might just be a two-man operation. Sounds good to me. You have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. That's new. Uh, excuse me. I have a girlfriend. Show shakes his head. And she won't let you hang out with your guy friends? That's a shame. I didn't think you'd get whipped so quickly. I just don't want to hang out with you. Hey, I didn't say that. I'd hang out with Akira, not you. You certainly implied it. I have a girlfriend too, remember? You don't see shackles on me. Uh, is she not joining? You're joking, right? It's reading week. She has me constantly studying and studying only. Um, listen, we're, we're about to go meet with Co Coach Ivan, so you're going to run into her in like two hours. It's like being on house arrest, man. I barely managed to escape. He waves his arms around for emphasis. I mean, what she's doing isn't, isn't necessarily bad. I know, but sometimes it's good to just recharge the mental battery, you know? I figured the others would get on my case, but I can trust you, Brosif. Uh, <laughs> you can trust me. <laughs> I, I, I had no problem throwing your ass underneath a bus, but sure, yeah, you, you, you can trust me. You can trust me. Uh, sounds more like you thought I wouldn't be studying. <laughs> Was I wrong? <laughs> I mean, no, but fuck you. I wouldn't say that. He grins. Then let's get started. The Adventures of Brosif and Show. Oh. Uh, stalls and things. Uh, wooden dolls. Maybe Cowrie would like this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What does that say again? Uh, a small doll dressed in a fitted kimono catches my attention. I stop show. And expected further, the wooden doll has hair as black as night and with a dainty face with blushing cheeks and red lips. Yeah, buy it. How much for this? The vendor names his price and I pay it. <laughs> That's good to know. Show account cautiously watches the transaction. Interesting choice. Is that a new thing you're into? No, it's a souvenir for my girlfriend. Show's eyes go wide. What? You can't go buying souvenirs? Yeah, I can. Why not? Because now I'll have to buy one too. Well, no. Oh, 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 oh Mr. <laughs> Mr. I'm not whipped. You're whipped. You do things for your girlfriend and stuff. Oh, but now now that I want to do nice things for my girlfriend. Oh shit, I gotta do nice things too now. Oh no, what do I do? Because now I'll have to buy one too. Okay, that's your problem. Sure, you can get one too. Oh, not this. I can't get the same one as you. She might find out and then she'd be upset. Wow, 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 you sound totally whipped. Okay, then we'll look for something else. Ready for some food? Always. That's what I like to hear. Cool. Um, sit at the edge of parks. Okay. Hey, boys, are these seats taken? Yes, mainly by me. Ah. Uh, it's them. really nice of you to save a seat. Yeah, no, no, no. This wasn't for you. They seem to be around our age. Yep. Do you go to Ace? Let's see if this actually changes a little bit. Considering Ace is the only university, uh, university around here, it's not an unusual guess. Um... He seems dazed. Yeah, he's in the pilot program. Pilots? Uh, yep. He's so out of his element. Girls look at each other and then giggle. What are you doing after the festival? Oh, would you want to hang out? Um... Actually, we have plans with our girlfriends later tonight. Aww, really? Yeah, really. Bye! Show nods, although more reluctantly this time. Both of you are already taken. Oh well. Bye! I can't even see your faces, our sludge overlords. Well, if you guys ever want to hang out, I'm sure we'll be available. Okay, you have fun with that. What just happened? Uh, they were just being nice. The magic of being single. Of not being single. Oh, you don't know? You're forbidden fruit now, Mr. Shinjiro. He blinks. Huh? What do you mean? Now that you're spoken for, get ready for a lot more attention from girls, my friend. That doesn't make any sense. How would they know I already have a girlfriend? We just met. They got a secret sense for these things. You know how women are. Show nods. They have a lot of secret senses. Um, I remember reading that once you're in a relationship, you carry yourself with more confidence. That's actually funny because it's somewhat true. Um, in my case, it's really not. Um, it's a little true. Like, there's a little bit more of just, like, you're not... Because, like, I guess when you're single, you you could be looking or you couldn't be. I don't know. 
Um, and sometimes you have like doubts of like, oh, blah, 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 or whatever. Um, I, I actually think there are times single I get more confident than when I am in a relationship. Um, and I think it's usually when it's like I figured out whether or not, um, if I, I, I think for me, it's like if I figured out that I'm actually comfortable where I am, then I get more confident. And usually that happens a lot more when I'm single because it allows me to fulfill a lot more. I haven't fulfilled everything I quite want to do yet, and I still feel like I have a long way to go. But when I start feeling that bits of, bits of fulfillment and I'm kind of comfortable where I am, I get way, way more confident than I do in probably most relationships I've been in. I think that was a fluke. Nope. A fluke. Yeah, I've tried so hard to get a girl's number before and met with a 0% success rate. This was just a random outlier. Nope. You don't sound convinced. You're not wrong. Okay, here, watch. Yep. I tried to get her number. And you got it. And then she was about to give it to me? What is happening? <laughs> the younger me would have killed for this power. This power that I cannot use. Shut up, show. I pat him on the back. I don't know what to tell you, ma'am. She sneaks into her chair and sniffles. Um, show, okay. Cool. Now we go home. So now, do I actually get to give this gift to Cowrie or not? Making our way to Coach Ivan. I walk in, see the rest of my team around the hollow table. There she is. I can't there believe she... he sent all this. This is incredible. Yuna grins. Yep. This consultation isn't just for the pilots. It's for everyone on the team. You know, I'm also just realizing this, too. I think it's a little weird that... Valerie, Kauri, Mayu, and Yuna are like the same exact height. Um, I mean, maybe there's a case that possibly Kauri is the tallest by like the smallest of margins and possibly Mayu is shorter. But I mean, like they're almost exactly across the board the same height. Like... There's maybe like a two inch difference between Mayu and Kauri, but everyone else is like the same height. Valley scrolls through the projected hologram, uh, pausing in an image of a gear loaded with statistics. Um, yep, she was the first to notice me. Joseph! Hey guys. Show puts her arm around my shoulder. Are you ready to meet Ivan? Yeah, sure, let's get this over with. You know it. Come on, Ivan. What do you guys think Coach Ivan is like? He's going to be the most awesome thing ever, and somehow you'll find him annoying, and that's 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 where I can't agree with you. Is Kyrie nervous? She keeps a cool facade, but her gaze constantly darts towards the door. I heard he's the shot caller on his team. He's the one leading the tactics and pulling in the high numbers. Mm-hmm. He's even received the MVP award twice already. Yes, yes, I, I got it. Steph Curry. Um, ooh... I rack my brain trying to understand. Sorry, I got a really cool notification. The only player I remember who won two MVP awards on the national stage is Star Strong Arm Gear. Right. That's his Elias for the global stage. Ooh, Elias. Oof, jeez, Cowrie. Ah, the work on that. It's alias. Hmm. Alias is the word you're looking for. I always for. thought it was a little strange that he never even took off his helmet for interviews. He doesn't need to. He doesn't even speak in interviews. Cowrie nods. What? That's his persona, and it's worked really well for him. His persona five. Everybody's going to keep asking me about bringing that back. It's probably going to be something that goes on Twitch. I, I just, that is a game that requires me to sit down for five to six hours uh, per play. Not a game that I can chop up into 20 minute episodes, because then I will get nowhere. Hearing all this just makes me more curious about what kind of person Coach Ivan is. Wait, how is he going to coach us? Does he even know how to talk? Don't be stupid, Show. Of course he can talk. Yeah, you idiot. <laughs> Cowrie blinks. I think... Damn it, Cowrie. Actually, I've heard rumors that his face was half burnt during... I... Yeah, can well, we just... I've heard... Well, just, just bring him in. No. Bring him Stop in. Don't listen to... Poor it. Just bring him in. There we go. Wait, did that say Polish? Oh no, Polish helmet, okay. There he is. 
All right, the group, uh, nobody wants to break the silence. All right, hello. This helmet slowly turns. Here we go. Wait, Kauri remains stoic. Okay, okay, okay. Show, yep. Oh, man, it was still the funniest review ever to see this bald-headed dude with just, a, <laughs> like, that mustache. Uh... A glorious day to make your acquaintance. Yes. What? Under the wings of experience, I shall teach you to soar the skies. Cowrie's face falls. She looks like a nightmare is coming in her life. The rest of the girls mirrors. Do you know someone named Tatsuo by any chance? Oh boy, does he ever. Ivan looks at Show, even with a smile, his piercing gaze is unsettling as Show scoots back. You speak of my nephew? Mm-hmm. That explains a lot. Also, that face. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Yuna stands up. Hi, Mr. Podumny. Thank you for agreeing to coach our team this afternoon. Alter not my family name. For formalities between friends must not exist. How is your nephew not the best pilot of all time? <laughs> oh, um, okay. Thank you. He nods. Of course. We will begin with lesson one. <clears throat> to sprout into a magnificent tree, we must first water the roots. The foundations? Yeah. For the group. Okay. I don't think we need to go through all this. I don't think anything. Did you say something? Wait, what happened? Oh, God. Did you say the key to remember light energy. Have I fallen asleep and started dreaming? I'm in class again. Yeah, sorry, I saw something weird. Um, why is it not? Jeez, this is like listening to Valerie, Valerie explain. Did you, you say, say something? something? Show rubs his fresh bruise. Oh yeah, you deserve that one. Of course not. Nothing at all. Good. Valerie turns back to the holograph. Show looks at me. I think she's been hanging around Calry for too long. Oh, please. I hope she just wallops you in the face. Wham! Did you say something? Oh, yeah. Don't you say shit about my girlfriend. No! No! You dare question the wondrous feat of photosynthesis? Please punch him as well. No. Uh, I mean, yes. Yes, that it's wondrous. Please don't hurt me. Hurt him. All right. Under yes. Demonstrate. Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Simulations and stuff. Yeah, none, none, none of this matters. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Everyone's happy. Yay. And so the dial of time lands for my departure. Even Calry can accept this. Nice. Thank you so much, Mr. Pu... <laughs> I mean, thanks, Ivan. Yes. And Ivan smiles. We appreciate your time. And all this data analysis we can't lose after a training session like that. I hope not. Is something wrong? Yes. You guys. Yes, you guys. Make me so proud. Yay. He squeezes us so tightly I gasp for air. Show mouths help me while trying to rig rig wriggle? <laughs> wriggle free. Uh, Mayu looks terrified as she squished into Yuna's chest. Valerie tries to hug Ivan while Kauri looks like a deer in headlights and struggles to break free. Ivan doesn't notice. Hey! After one last squeeze, he releases us, uh, releases us and lets out a deep sigh. And so the nest perch on the branch finds its awakening. Go forth, hatchlings! Alrighty. Man, I am so. Me too. Should we. Oh, the match is tomorrow. I think Valerie. Yep. That's exactly. It is? It's reading week. Cowrie covers her ears. Idiot! What's wrong with you? Anything but that. So. Yeah. It won't be that bad. I promise. Yeah. I still wonder, like, what happens if... I want to know that. Like, if I screw over Sho, right? And Sho doesn't get Mayu, does he then get mad at me? And how awkward does this all become? Uh, okay. Like, making Sho single. We'll talk to you or guys keeping later. him single. Okay. You're all good then, Valerie? Yep. I'll send a text when I'm done. Okay. Thank you. I'd better get to studying, too. I imagine there's, like, a lot of flavor stuff going on in this. Cowrie locks eyes with me. I'll see you later. No! See me now! Sounds like less of a suggestion and more of a statement. My cheeks turn pink. I nod and watch her, uh, watch her head off. Well, since I'm already on campus, I'll go submit my report on the coaching set. Yeah, you do that. 
You want some company? No, it's no. okay. What? I'll be doing some boring. I know. All right, let me know if you need sure. anything. You should, yeah, you didn't ask Cowrie, do you want some company? Uh, squeeze in a section. Bowery texts. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What did it say? At one point, saying the changes are done. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, I do need to quick save here. Because here comes another Cowrie event. She calls me instead. I answer. Okay. Hey. Hi. Are you busy? Hmm, maybe. Not particularly. What's up? Did you want to come to the gym with me? I'm going to try a new routine and would like to have a spotter. Oh, now let's see what happens here. It might be different. Yeah, sure. Gym in the rec center? Yes, thanks. Ooh. Uh, no problem. See you there. I make my way to the rec center and quickly get changed. Once I'm done, I enter the gym. Cowrie is in her gym uniform. I sight for the last. I laugh. I thought I'd be used to that by now, but I'm not. Hey, Cowrie. She nods. Hi. Thanks for agreeing to help. Oh, of course I would. No problem. I was going to get a workout in anyway. So what's this new routine you have planned? She hands me her phone. I scroll through. I've mainly been doing endurance training and would like to incorporate more mass building. Oh, <laughs> have you seen my guns and decided, oh, yeah, let's, let's incorporate more mass building. Um, what's the occasion? Any reason? Cowrie shakes her head. Not particularly. My routine was just getting a bit too repetitive, and this will be a nice change of pace. Cool. Fair enough. You ready to start? She nods. We fi uh, find an empty bench. She ga uh, begins gathering weights and adds them to the bar. And keeps adding weights. Uh, 100 pounds to the bar. Really? 100 pounds? Like, I still don't get that one. You're, you're, you're dropping your jaw at 140. 140 is not that... Or, I can't remember, is the bar 40 or 45? I think it's 45, so you're dropping your draw at 145. I mean, I, I guess that could technically be bigger than her, but it's not, not, that, not that big. Um, me, Callie, Zuckerfish, she's attracted a few more onlookers too, so I'm not the only one to place the bar back in the All right, warm-ups are done. Here comes more weight. These were just warm-ups. She has up to 20 pounds and repeats her reps. Uh, she sets out. Yep. Okay, save here. Uh, geez, how much of her weight is just muscle? Um, I'm curious what this one is. Bet you more than your body weight is very impressive. Thanks. Ooh. Suddenly her face turns pink and she hits me in the arm. Hey, don't try to guess my weight. I did. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, damn. That was a trap, wasn't it? Again, a uh, grin. Guilty as charged. Okay, your turn now. Th so what is good job? Very nice. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Oh no, that's lame. No, I like the other one better. That that one was a lot more Thanks. fun. Okay. Okay, it's my time to shine. How do I want to play this? Like an idiot. Beast mode activation. Two hundred pounds. Let's let's do this. <laughs> the good old Brock. That has to be a Brock Lesnar reference. I swear, if it's not a Brock Lesnar reference, oh, come on, it has to be. I slap on weights until I reach 200 pounds. With great determination, I pump out some mad reps with my swole body. Once complete, Cowrie stares at me with her mouth hanging open. I didn't know you were so fit. Oh, you gonna learn today. I smirk. Are you impressed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was only all right. Oh, yeah, you won't think it's all right later. We run through the rest of her routine, one exercise after another. She times her rest periods down to the second and diligently follows the mantra of one more rep. I follow her routine as well. It's definitely more challenging than the typical stuff I do at the gym. Once we repeat, completed her list, Cal returns to me. Why does everything... Do you everything, have any specific exercises you want to do? Everything on my face itches. Like, my nose itches, my eye itches. Like, kind of like near like my ear itches. I don't know why. I don't have fleas, I swear. I shake my head. That was a solid workout. Cal not. She gathers the weights and places them back where she found them. Then wipes down the equipment. Come on. I follow Cal towards the mats. Uh, what are we doing now? The music is going away. Hold on. Say yes. Stretching. Oh, <laughs> I can see why it's going now, now. 
Oh. You don't want to be stiff, right? No, I don't. I, I deal with that every morning when I wake up. My ankle is shot. Uh, for those, I think I've explained that my ankles, uh, I broke my ankle and my fibula, uh, uh, or tibia, or fibula, or whatever. The, the, the big bone you're not supposed to break in your leg. Um, I broke that about two and a half years ago. And so I still deal with, um, depending on how much I walk on my ankle, I still deal with like stiffness and like really bad stiffness in the morning. It takes about like 10 or 15 minutes for me to really get going. Oh, right. Carrie loosens up and stretches, shakes out her limbs. Then with basic stretches as I follow suit, she interlaces her arms behind, as she interlaces her arms behind her, she glances over at me. Actually, do you think you can help me stretch? I can help you too. Oh, I certainly can. Uh... Here. Pull on my arms. Well, then. I move, I move behind her and gently pull her arms back. Is this good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, as I lock, hold her in position, I look up in the mirror in front of us as Cowrie is straight at Cowrie's chest. I quickly look away. With her arms pulled back like that, it leaves her chest wide open. Thankfully, her eyes are closed so she can focus on her breathing. Next, stretch. Mm-hmm. I drop Cowrie's arm as she gets down on the mat and lies on her stomach. Hold me under the knee and help me lift my leg up. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's everything about this. I have never been more thankful to the person who created Japanese gym uniforms. I admire the perfect roundness of her dairy hair and the slight jiggle as she lifts her leg. <laughs> oh, God. Well done, Pixel Fade. Well done. Hey, did you hear me? What? Huh? Sorry? Huh? Oh, right. I kneel down beside her and do as she asks, gently holding her leg up. Wait, I need support for my lower back. Can you put your hand there? Sure can. <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. I raise, rest my hand on her lower back, right above the curve of her butt, and lift again. Uh. Well, boy, fan service, here it is. Too much? She shakes her head. No, a little more. Fan service. <laughs> I lift her leg higher. Her uniform bottom rides up, revealing firm porcelain flesh. Mm. I avert my gaze as my heart beats faster. Do I just tell her or just pretend to don't see this? Let's quick save. Okay, your turn. Okay. <laughs> the breath I didn't realize I was holding. This Gowrie untangles herself from her position. Uh, I'm good. We can continue with your stretches. She shrugs and lies down on her back and lifts one leg. Can you push my leg forward? Sure. I hover over and I hover over her and hold up her calf to gently apply pressure. No, you have to be lower. I need your support for my leg. Gotcha. Lower where? Kneel down and push that way. Okay. I do as she asks and she holds her leg straight against my shoulder. More. I lean in, using my body to help her <laughs> help keep her leg straight. Still more. All right, <laughs> scooting ever closer to her, I gently lean in a little more. Man, lifting up 200 pounds is a really impressed calorie. The back of her neck tingles, and I look away. <laughs> I look around the room, and the myriad of eyes are on me. After glancing in the mirror, I quickly break away from her. From that angle, it looks like I'm. My face reddens. Calorie pulls straight up and frowns. Why'd you stop? Why'd you stop? <laughs> you know what? I'm realizing that line works in two different ways. <laughs> Why'd you stop? <laughs> oh, um... Why did I stop? Let's keep going. <laughs> Explain why. Innocence is bliss. Okay. Oh, man. I, uh... I want to explore all these options, actually. No reason. Let's get back in position. She narrows her eyes and raises her leg again. I lean in just as close as before. How's that feel? Mm, good. Mm. <laughs> I grin. Are you sure? <laughs> Do you want me to go deeper? Well, maybe a little. <laughs> <laughs> I chuckle softly as I apply more pressure. Cowrie frowns. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Come on. I'm just happy to get a chance to be so close to you. Uh, oh. She blinks and then turns her face away from me and towards the mirror. When she notices our position in the mirror, her eyes go wide and her face turns right when she pushes me away. Why just stop? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> because you, you. I'm sorry. Yes, me. I smirk. She wants to call me a pervert, but no, she can't because I was only following instructions. Was it doing it wrong? No. Did it not feel good? Her push defense. That, that's enough. We're done with stretching. No. Oh, but too bad. She glares at me. Oh, God. Oh, please. Can I go back? Uh, did, I have that, did I have that as my quick save? I think I did. Um, Innocence is bliss. Uh, I'm just feeling a little tired now. She nods. We worked really hard today. Oh, that's lame. No. What? Explain why. Uh, I think that's enough stretching for now. She looks curious at, like, curious at me. What's going on? Well, it's a little uncomfortable. No, the pressure was okay. I've been working on my flexibility, so a little burn is good. No, I mean for me. Huh? Uh, you seriously don't see it? See what? <laughs> Alright, go back. We get back in the same position, <laughs> and I gesture towards the mirror. What does that look like to you? <laughs> uh, I think that's enough stretching for today. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh no 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 no. Got it. Got it. We, it has to. It has to be the other one. Th this one is too good. That was too good. Oh god, that was hilarious. All right, uh, we put the mats away and head towards the locker rooms. Right before we get uh, split to get changed, he grabs my hand and looks down. Aww. Thanks for helping me today. You did really well. I'm glad you asked me to join you. We should do this again. Oh, okay. Oh, boy, should we ever. Maybe not in the gymnasium, though. Uh, definitely. She hesitates and her cheeks turn pink, and she quickly kisses me on the lips. I'll see you in a few minutes. Oh, look at that. She's being affectionate and shit. Before I can answer, she disappears into the women's locker room. A smile spreads across my face as I enter the men's locker room. We'll definitely have to do this again soon. They quickly get changed to Mikauri out front. Ooh, there's So, there was something I wanted to ask you. This is really going all over the place. Can I save again? Thank you. What's up? Anime Con is this weekend, and I was thinking maybe we could go together. Uh, yeah. But only if you want to. Uh, yeah. I grin. Sure, that sounds like fun. Really? Okay. <laughs> I got to say, only if you want to. Yeah, I do. Really? Oh, oh. Kari smiles. She seems genuinely excited for it. I better get back to study. Yeah, you have fun with that. I nod. I'll see you later. Yay! She waves. A small smile still set on her lips as we part ways. Okay. <laughs> Living room is empty. Oh, this is right. Yuki's home, and I hear this weird sound forever. Uh-huh. Oh, good. You're home. Mm-hmm. Oops, I got some flour on you. That's okay. Uncle Kaito's eyes are watering as he home lunges towards the fridge and pulls out a carton of milk. Uh, are you okay, Uncle Kaito? Aunt Yuki's making us Chinese food tonight. He ran one of the chilies around the rim of Uncle Kaito's glass when he wasn't looking. Uh-huh. <laughs> it doesn't hit you at first. Once it does... <laughs> okay, is there anything about Kauri that is anything yeah, to change? That's what makes it so funny. Mm hmm It's been a while. Cut me some slack. Yeah? Aunt Yuki, do you really have to leave again, Aunt Yuki? It's so fun when you're around. Oh, no, she's going to be around a lot longer. Hey, are you saying I'm not fun? Yes. No, you're fun too. Wrong. That sounded awfully like a pity compliment. Nikki giggles. Actually, you'll all be seeing a lot more of me. Yep. <laughs> Kaito looks at her in surprise. Really? Yep. If that's all right with you. Gross. Of course. I, I just. Does that mean you're really going to stay here? Mm hmm. Yeah. Unless there's a reason why I shouldn't. Mostly, I don't want to hear you two. But then again, I do have Kauri. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna uh, get in a uh, a room at the dorm on campus, and then I don't have to be here anymore, and I don't have to listen to that. Cool. No. What? No. What? Watching you with the kids, you've, uh, changed. Yuki. Aunt Yuki belongs here, Uncle Kaito. Let her stay. No, I don't like it. What? 
Let's give him some privacy. Hi. Yep, nope, get out. Do you think Aunt Yuki will really stay? Nope. I wouldn't get my hopes up. Why not? They were joking around with each other just like old times. That just means that they're banging. It doesn't mean that they'll necessarily stay together. Uh, wow. That is a weird thing to say to your sister, isn't it? There's a reason why they split up in the first place. It's going to take them a while to work through those issues. It's obvious they're both still in love with each other. Gross. So? Love conquers all. Uh, yeah, you said that. Oh, God. It's one of my... That's one of my like most hated things that anybody can say. Love conquers all. Oh, yeah. I raise an eyebrow. Nikki sighs. You are so unromantic. Uh, I actually am really romantic. I just don't like that quote or like that, like love conquers all. I'm like, oh, it really doesn't. How do you even have a girlfriend? <laughs> oh, 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 being an idiot helps because I'm delightful. Nikki laughs. I'm gonna ignore that. We wait in silence. Every so often, Nikki would sneak in. Yep. Oh, so Nikki does know that I do have a girlfriend. Oh, okay. Cool. So that Are does you change. Ever not hungry? Nope. No. Oh, now it's my turn to laugh. Are you kids hungry yet? Very. Starving. Then I guess we'd better feed you. Dinner's ready. Uh, serious? What the hell? I, I think I should probably just. This is so weird. Like, I, my face feels so itchy and I don't know what it is. I jump to my fa uh, fa feet and race into the kitchen, but Nikki lingers beside Aunt Yuki. Does this mean you're staying? Of course I'm staying. There's no way I'm going to let Kato keep you kids to himself. Yay! Nikki grins from ear to ear and hugs Yuki tightly. I'm so happy! There will finally be another woman in the house! Uh, that's why you're excited? Aunt uh, Yuki laughs as the two of them join us at the table. I don't know how you managed all by yourself. Mm -hmm. Me neither. Mm -hmm. Everyone is all smiles as you sit down to eat. Uh, after din dinner, Nikki dragged Aunt Yuki upstairs to show her the, re the new dress she bought. bought <laughs> the new dress she bought last week. Uncle Kaito and I are watching TV. It's an email from PI. What does it say? It's the same thing. Yeah. It seems. Did something. That's where we learn about the projects and stuff. What is because if mm -hmm. whoever hmm. what does it say? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Alright, right, so there was nothing new there. Yeah, I hate to be like just skipping through, but I know this is a lot of stuff that you guys have seen as well. And there's always like the first playthrough. The first playthrough is all the way through, so you can see like the stuff that I'm skipping if you really want to see it. Um, and gets Akira. Yes, thank you, Coach Ivan, for all your help. Hey! Hey! Oh, hey, Yuna. You're not my girlfriend. I'm glad I ran into you. Okay. <laughs> Does this count as running into me if you knew exactly where I would be? Yes! How so? She grins and thrusts her tablet in front of me. Do you mind filling out this survey really quickly? I I is it a survey on my experience <laughs> of, of this game? Because, boy, if it was the first playthrough, woohoo! But thankfully, this one has been a lot better. Survey for what? The session with Coach Ivan. Since yesterday's guest coach was a new initiative for Dashu, they like to gauge how valuable you all thought the session was. I've managed to track down everyone else, so yours is the last form I need. Okay. Take a minute to fill out the survey. Once I'm finished, I hand the tablet back to you. Thanks. No. You're welcome. That's one of the reasons I like them. I wonder how they got them to agree. Oh, it was easy. All I had to do was call. Wait, what? Yeah, I found his contact information. After that, it was just... You put all this together. You know, wakes a surprise and blushes. It wasn't all me. But the idea was yours. Actually, you helped me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it was for stuff involving... I had no I was idea. just doing my job. Yeah. You're doing an amazing job. She blushes even deeper. Anyway, thanks for filling this out. Sure, I better go in. Cowrie's probably about to blow a blood vessel waiting for me. Uh, I don't think she'd have that bit big of an issue now. Good luck out there. Thanks. She waves goodbye before heading towards the stadium uh, while I head into the pre-combat room. Yep. Carrie takes a step back. Okay, Let's... this is what the war game layouts will be. Okay. As you all know, we'll be facing against Reborn, Akira's team. Reborn is fully sponsored by Ludian Enterprises, which means each gear is kitted out for specific. Hold on. 
Well, you know. Okay. Okay, I do. Yeah. yeah. None of this so, is changing. Everyone but Phoenix. Phoenix. Akira here. Uh, yeah, I want to go with a little different here. Um, so we're fighting against their B team. That's not satisfying at all. Don't underestimate them, Brosive. They're still members of Reborn. Why would they not want to guarantee a perfect preseason run? Or do they think they can beat us that easily? Maya shakes her head. What they're doing is actually best for the team overall. Pilot backups train in simulations or a controlled environment. These matches give them an opportunity to gain live experience without any negative consequences. Oh, geez, sorry. I accidentally just hopped out of the screen. I frown. She's right. I know she's right because my team back in CINY utilized the strategy too, but it doesn't make me feel any better. It just feels like I'm being robbed of a clean win if we do win. Okay, so we can definitely use this to our advantage. Okay. Kami changes up some of the notes on the hollow table. I have an idea. What if we employ the same tactic we did against Tatsuo's team? Focus down Akira. Mayo shakes her head. That won't work. Claw of the Wild's team is Tatsuo. However, every member of Reborn is going to be strong, even without Akira. True, but Akira still surpasses the rest of his team. Who's going to handle 1v1? It's gonna have to be me. I can do it. And since we haven't used it since the qualifiers, they definitely won't be expecting that. Ha! <laughs> Wrong. That's right. As long as you keep Akira busy, we have a strong chance of beating the rest of the team and then helping you with Akira. It won't be that easy. But I think this is our best chance at winning. We actually have the details of the plan on the hollow table. Remember not to immediately activate your overdrive mode when you start. So activate it immediately, heard. You know what? Remember not to immediately activate your overdrive mode when you start. Can I possibly piss off Kauri? Ego and I got this. Just make sure you take the other guys out. How he glares at me but doesn't argue. Let's recap then. Whoa! What? <laughs> what? Seriously, there was no pushing back on that one. Okay. Remember. Um, I raise an eyebrow. That doesn't make sense. Rosif, doesn't the overdrive mode have a time limit? Yeah, it's ten minutes. I think so. It pretty much gives me infinite energy, but the duration is finite. I believe Valerie's report mentioned it lasts three minutes. Enough time for me. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll pace myself. Let's recap then. We'll create distance between the three of us and Eagle with suppressive fire. We'll make it impossible for them to even attempt to gang up. If they stick together, we can keep our distance and trap them in crossfire. When they start to create distance with one another, Eagle will hard engage Phoenix. And we'll do the same with our respective opponents. Positioning will play a big part. Kari looks at me. You'll keep Akira engaged as long as you can, and we'll use the overdrive mode if it starts to look bad. I nod. That leaves the rest of us with three on three. It'll be a tough match, but we should be able to beat reborn substitute pilots without Akira there. What if Brosif goes down? We should plan that out too. Depending on the battle condition, it might be worth going for the saver points if things aren't in our favor. You mean take out the weakened gears instead of going for a win? Kauri crosses her arms, but nods. I blink a surprise. Judging by the sour look on her face, I can tell the strategy isn't ideal for her, but the Kauri from before would have never even considered it. She then looks at Maya. I agree. That would be the best course of action. We win and gang up on Akira afterwards. Otherwise, we go for the safe points instead of trying for the win. Brosif fights Akira. We Correct. Show nods. Okay, got it. My nerves are still jumpy, but I feel positive about our plan. We can do this! Everyone stares at Mayu. She blinks and pokes two fingers together. Uh, I mean, if we try. Okay. Team laughs. Ever since she's gotten together with Show, she's been a lot more confident. I'm really happy for her. The alarm rings, signaling us for get to, uh, signaling us for uh, blah, 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 blah. signaling for us to get to our stations. Let's go. Done. Two undefeated teams, right, but so only one. Two entering first. Is Ace 204911. Quick save here. Perfect. Here they come. Are you all? Then let's and begin. begin. Good. Actually, this is probably where I should quick let's save. Let's go. Stick to the plan and be vocal. Heard. Roger. Got it. Okay. 
I jet away from the rest of my team as they circle Akira's team. Uh, as if looking in the mirror, they follow suit. I'm ready my weapons to stare down. Okay, so size them up first. Crowding nice with uh, a Let's see what makes you so popular. Okay. I max equals thrusters and dash four. Phoenix races for the attack. Uh, can I connect? I deliver a powerful blow. The uh, scythe raise Phoenix parries, but still gets knocked down from the sheer force of my attack. Um, boost. Boost mobile, baby. Okay. Everything is still looking normal. Circle Kiru circles me. We boost towards each other at an incredible speed. Our weapons lead in the way. Energy Blade glides in the air. I grip my teeth and push with all my might as our blades stay locked in the battle of wills. Parry, duh. Channeling all my strength, the yell escapes my lips and I force the side up and spin out of the way to land a swing right back. The hit register in Akira's shield shivers dangerously. Yes! If I keep this up, I think I can win. Can't tell if I hear the roar of the crowd. For having a chance, Phoenix X back. Yep, this is where he starts to go really on the offensive. Phoenix swipes wide at me again. Um... I'm gonna go too fast, yeah. He was just gauging my ability. Okay, so this is where we go. Here we go. Overdrive! Woo! Yeah, baby! In three minutes on the clock. And then here we go. There it is. Both going overdrive. Alright, I should save here, I think. How should I play this? Go for the win. Now, I want to see what happens here if I do go for the win. Because last time I did what the game wanted me to do. I strengthened my resolve. I know I can do this. I know I can do this. I know it. Okay, charge the eagle. I raise my blade, heading for a vertical slash. The Phoenix raises his left hand and stops me with an unleashing barrier, crackling red energy. Phoenix barrel swords me once again. Phoenix, uh, sorry, wait, wait, what did that say? Uh, shocking me so hard, my head was back. Before I have a chance to regain my bearings, Phoenix uh, Sipes swipes me and knocks eagle back again. His shimmer shield, uh, his shield shimmers from my blow, uh, the blow. Uh, Phoenix, uh, yep, sending a uh, blade cut further. Another explosion of energy knocks me back as the blade and my shield con uh, connect. I skid to, to a stop, only to block another strike. Phoenix attacks are non-stop. With us both in overdrive mode, this doesn't feel any different than how the match was, was going originally. Uh, despite my efforts, he's the chance of the title, uh, to change the title of the battle. A force of blade defensive, and Akira is able to power Eagle and himself. Wait, Phoenix is a power? Did I do something? No, I only blocked the last attack and it was still strong enough to depower me. Maybe Akira channeled all his energy into that attack? Checking the timer, I see only 45 seconds have passed. Or maybe he just ran out of juice. Okay, so now I can't go and help. Assuming I don't get ma uh, manually depowered overdrive mode on Eagle last few minutes, but Phoenix can only sustains 45 seconds. Very curious. Yeah, I'm down. Show's voice pulls me out of my thoughts and refocuses my attention on the match. Show and Mayus were taken out, uh, taken out, but they did depower one gear. Or struggles to hold off two. Situation is looking dire. Oh no. Guess that means we need to go to points then. Agreed. Looks like reborn subs are no pushovers, even without Akira's support. Uh, they also anticipated our strategy and counterplayed us. I suppose there's a reason they're always number one. Or charges the two remaining gears. They send a volley of shots, but Or is able to uh, uh, mostly uh, able to avoid. But the hit sheet seems to uh, a decent amount of damage. Or approaches the first gear. Her shield disappears. She, she readies her blade. She must have drained it completely. It's channeling that energy into a strike. She's ready to go down swinging. The powers as soon as her blade connects with Soto is one of the enemy gears. The last gear standing is one of Reborn. That was close. But in the end, it looks like Reborn's winning streak will continue. Now, <clears throat> I, the only reason I want to go back is this. So, okay. So if you do ch try to go like toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, you lose. But you still learn that information. Now, what if I go... F oh, shit, shit, no. I, um... Uh, what if I delay tactics and stick to the plan... But it's Kauri that I'll be able to help. Yeah, it looks like Eagle's core is still one of a kind. Here we go. Heroes depowered? Yes. What? Are you serious? 
Right, there's still a match going on. No time for dilly-dallying. Still good for about two minutes. I speed towards my teammates and assess the damage. Show them my were to power, but they look at one of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's still two. Oh, does this become like a super romantic moment or something? Uh, she's definitely seen better days. I'm here. With the Eagle and Aura back to back, we ready ourselves. We can still do this. You're damn right we can, honey. Uh, show them what Eagle's Overdrive can do. Of course, let's go. I spawn an energy shield in front of us to block the incoming shots as Kyrie charges in, safe behind the protective wall. As soon as we uh, were within melee range, we engage the remaining gears. My shield wavers as Kyrie duels one of the reborn, but it hardly matters. Her blades as a blur as they slice through the air, and she has the opposing gear on the defensive. My opponent can barely withstand Eagle, o Eagle's overdrive attacks, and although he managed to get a few strikes in, I ultimately depower him. My overdrive mode expires shortly after, so I turn my attention to Kauri's battle. Uh, or is it much different from the battle before? There's only one left. You got this. That's right. Go, County. Nobody asked you. No, it's supposed to be a moment for me. So then what happens if I just stay quiet? She knows what to do. A focused Kauri is an unstoppable Kauri. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Eagle down. Do your thing, Aura. I see the green light affirmative pulsate from Kauri's comp. She's in the zone now. Okay. Oh. And Kauri wins, yeah. Ace 20 11 continues their undefeated streak. Okay, so not really a big romantic moment there. Ground shakes, well, I mean, we're in the middle of battle. I guess that would make sense. Uh, the ground shakes beneath the feet is the ru a stadium rumbles with cheers and applause. We won. We did it, bro, sir. Yay. Kyrie lets out a loud cheer as Mayu laughs. But we did it. We actually did it. I think we can all agree that this was the best preseason match bar none. Am I right? We yep. have the replays available. All right. Speaking of Phoenix, how was it also equipped? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, when I end up premium, my teammates must still be changing. Throws an arm around me, nearly choking me. You were awesome out there. Damn right I was. Thanks. I'm sure it's jubilation, but I can't think of how another. Okay. I can't believe we beat Akira and his team. We damn right you did. <laughs> damn right we did. We got lucky we won this time. It was a really close call. But you pulled it out. That's really all that ma <laughs> But you did it. Oh, come on, Kauri. We won against Akira. No matter how close a call it was, we still beat the number one team at Ace. That may be true, but they're still the number one seeded team. It doesn't matter. With this victory, we should at least solidify a position in the top three. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's true, too. She lets a smile escape, but clearly there's something on her mind. But isn't anyone else concerned by Akira's overdrive ability? Yes, actually. If he knew about this, then he's got a lot of questions to answer. He never used it in any previous battles, so this must be a recent addition. Mm-hmm. All right, so All right you go... Um... Wait, All right, you go take care of business. But don't forget today, as I said. As soon as I figured out that we were, as soon as I figure, uh, get all this figured out, we're gonna celebrate properly. We'll be waiting for you. I'm gonna see if I can catch up with the Kira. Okay, what happens? To... The only reason we won is because my over mode, uh, overdrive outlasted Akira. Kira. Show That's us. all part of the battle. Okay, what if I say it doesn't feel like a win? Thanks, but it's hard to focus when I know. Now, Disco, we we are the champions, motherfucker. Yes, let's go. Luckily, Kira's still here. Kira. Hey. Yeah. It's been. It's been one week since you looked at me. What's Got up? to get inside it of it. hungry. It was an upgrade from Illudian. Is something wrong? No. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. The... I get to talk Same. to the account manager. We I get should to get back to my scene. Team. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're good. Yeah, right, right, right. This is the rep who, yeah, was just like, yeah, just go. All right, so we go visit the office tomorrow. Um. Text my team, Valerie and you are there too. Okay, so everyone's here. Nice. Chill got us up to speed. Yes. With how long it took me to activate your overdrive mode, Alludian has got to be working with a prototype or have access to your core's blueprints. Those are my thoughts exactly. How I do they get the schematics? I didn't give it to them. Promise. Mm-hmm. Not what I was applying, but still good to know. Still, that sucks, Brosif. I'm a little su- I think for larger companies like Alludian, the only time- Does Dashu have a similar model? Oh, yes. Good. Man, 
He's got to be aggressive if he wants to get any answers. Wow. Otherwise, they'll keep passing him off from one person to the next. Okay. Um, now, nothing yeah. else looks new here. Okay, get him a bike and head home. Welcome back. How was your map? Actually, it. Finally, you're home. Guess what? Monsters. Oh yes. Uh, uh, there's no chance I can forget with Leonardo DiCaprio. Wow, I actually haven't heard that in a while. You say that every time he's been nominated, and each time you've been wrong. Each time you're wrong. Your face is wrong. I got a good feeling about this one, though. You say that every year. Shh, 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 shh. And the monster. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yay! That'll do, Leonardo. That'll do. Uh, jump up with Nikki. Yay! He finally did it. I know. I'm feeling a little left out. Uh, yeah, you can stay being that way. Nikki and I glance at each other and laugh. Then we give Uncle Kaito a high five. This is a momentous event. What's not to like? Before I can answer, she hushes oh, me. He's about to give a speech. Uh, global warming back in 2016. Yeah, that's, that's still hilarious to me. The audience roars what's up while the CEO walks off the stage. What a yeah. Anybody want snack? Be right back. Okay, this is where we. T yeah, we yeah. get strawberries. Yep. I Nothing here is different. Yeah. Where did you? I don't know. Do you? Siri. Yeah, yeah this is where you am. Uh, all right, fruit suckles. Right. Uh, call them cutberry. <laughs> cutberries. That actually sounds stupider. You should call them cut berries. Nikki wrinkles her nose. I don't know about that. Why not? It rolls off the tongue. Cut berries. Hmm. Uncle Kaito doesn't hate it. It sounds kind of inappropriate. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. We'll think about it. Right. Oh, so I'm sorry. Am I supposed to go with the lame strawberry dream? Mm, that's not terrible. Uh, it's vague enough that it can... Fuck you. I want my fruit suckles. <laughs> no. Why not? Because I want people to eat them? But it's a fruit suckle. Right. Who wouldn't want one of those? Yeah. I thought you were... I couldn't leave the... Alright. Ooh. What? I wake up from some vigorous shaking and open my eyes to the familiar frown of my favorite fiery redhead. What's she doing at my house? Hey, wake up! Oh, that's right. We're going to end the, the, the con. I forgot about that. So, Grago, yeah, mumble, half mumble response. How did you get in here? That is a very good question. I mean, you look great, but how did you get in here? Nikki let me in and told me you were still sleeping. Ah, oh, great. I see you final. Oh no, wait. You've already, you would have already met her already. Um, now wake up. Uh, fine, but I won't be happy about it. It's time to sleep. You sleep too. <laughs> no, I'm not waking up. What? You could join me. I reach out for my bed and grab Crowley's arms and pull her into me. What? Let me just do a quick. Now uh, wake up. Quick save. Uh? She loses her balance and her torso falls on top of me in my bed. Hey! Nope, we're staying here and cuddling. Fuck you. She begins to pull away, but I pull her closer. Her face is inches away from mine, and her hair tickles me as it falls around her face. I gently kiss her cheek. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're not going anywhere today. She pauses, and I can feel the warmth in her face as I kiss her cheek again. Join me. She hesitates and tries to pull away again. No, we have to. No. <laughs> Another voice calls out, interrupting Cowrie. Jeez, guys, at least close your door. Fuck you, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki pops her head into the room and mimics a look of disgust before closing the door for us. Carrie breaks free from my grasp and leaps away from me as soon as she hears Nikki's voice. Nothing's happening! Everything happened! <laughs> I hear Nikki's laughter clearly from the other side of the door. Likely story. Nikki, uh, Cowrie whirls on me. Her face is even redder than I thought was possible. Hey, listen, it, it, it could be worse. We could be stretching and stretching again. Idiot! Cowrie pouts. Ugh, forget it. I was just teasing. I'll get up. Kawi crosses her arm like she doesn't believe me. I'm about to throw out my blankets when I remember I what I decided to wear bed last night. Uh, you might want to look away for a sec. Oh. 
why? Tell her you're indecent. Throw off the covers. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> mischievous grin spreads across my face because of this. I flip the blankets off, <laughs> off of me and reveal my boxers in all their glory. Cowrie averts her eyes and whirls away from me. You idiot! Why are you naked? I'm not naked. <laughs> I was like, no, it's not like I was expecting anyone to show up in my room this morning. So. Yes, get used to it. Well, idiot! Hurry up and get dressed. Uh, I shrug and swing my legs over the bed. Wait. What? Kari races towards the door. At least wait for me to leave first. Oh come on! What? You're gonna have to get used to it anyway. It's not like you didn't see me in like a swimsuit. So what's what's really the difference? I'm in my boxers. I'm in my swimsuit. Same thing, right? Why? You've already seen them. That's not the point. <laughs> I like her response. She pulls open the door and slams it shut behind her. I can't stop the grin on my face. She's so cute when she's flustered. <laughs> I slide out of bed and grab my clothes. As I get dressed, I let Cowrie back into the room while I head into the, uh, to the washroom to freshen up. When I return, Cowrie is already sitting at my desk. <laughs> she looks up as I join her. Here. My tablet pings with a notification. Okay, no, 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 no. I, I gotta go back a little bit. <laughs> we, we need to go a little bit back. Fine, but I won't be happy about Don't it. Don't look so sour. I've come all this way for you. Oh, I'm sorry. You 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 what all this way? I, I thought I thought. Oh oh, did did did, did you come quickly? Is, is that what you did? Cause you know I, I know how you like it when people come fast. It it's callback humor. I brighten up a little and keep the grumbling to a minimum. Uh, Carrie hides a smile. That's better, I guess. I'm about to throw off my blankets when I remember what I'd said. You might want to look away for a Why? second. Um, uh, well, I wasn't expecting anyone to show up this morning, so I'm not exactly dressed. Why aren't you wearing any pajamas? I just told you why. Do you not usually wear them? No. Uh. Never mind. I don't want to know. <laughs> she raises her. I'll be waiting outside. Just hurry up. Okay. One more time, because I want to see what I'm awake. Okay, I'm awake. Just please, no more shaking. Carrie eases up the softness her look. Sorry, but that was the only thing that worked. You're a really deep sleeper. Uh, how long were you trying to wake me up? Carrie blushes. I don't know. Not long. I just got here. Uh huh. Okay. Go get dressed. Okay, no, 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 no. The winner, the winner is clearly this. This is the winning one. Uh yeah, that, that one was so awesome. Not Nikki, you could go right, fuck please. off, please. Idiot. Thank you. Ugh. What? Uh, <laughs> just throw off the covers. It hurts. Oh, it's 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 such That's a me not... thing. I would totally do something stupid like that. Um. All right, she's at my desk. Okay, here. Um, as I set up my books and notes, I open the attachments. These me. are the templates I use for my study guides. I thought they might be helpful for you. Oh, we're not going to the anime convention. She's just here to do homework with me. That's cool. I'm impressed as I scan through the template. Kaori definitely takes her study seriously. I don't. Because they, these are really thorough guides. Thanks, these look great. She nods, but seems pleased. Okay, let's get to work. <laughs> so I don't know why I just look at the camera like that. Uh, study for a few hours before Kyrie has to leave. I got through most of my classes with her help to help quiz, and, uh, sorry, to help her with, uh, nah, I can't read. I got through most of the classes with her help to, with her here to help quiz me and feel confident about our session together. After I walk into the bus stop, I came home and head straight for bed. I need a nap after that intense section, but long, before long, I'm fast asleep. That, that really hit the spot. Okay, so that's weird that there's just that moment that happens there. Um, wait, what? That's weird that the music just winds down like that for this option. Hello? Meet me at the garage. ASAP. Oh, great. 
Bye. I have to show you something cool. Okay. Make haste. All right. Uh, excuse me. Ba -ba. Here it is. That's pretty sweet beige blanket, man. <laughs> no, no. It's what's underneath. Oh. Yep. Roger. A 2017 Bird Mustang in fresh blue paint and white racing stripes. I've seen this in old car photos. We never seen one up close. This is cool. Where'd you get it? Get it? I built it. You can't build how? Yeah. I found the frame from an old mechanic shop and then thought I'd try to restore it. It was hard to find all the different pieces, and I've been working on it for a few years, but it's finally done! Congrats. He grins proudly. I thought you'd appreciate an American manufactured car. Uh, yeah? He's right about that. I still can't believe these things need refueling every week. Talk about a non-sustainable source of energy. Oh, it's a, sorry. I keep I keep thinking that this is like 2000. No, because we're in 2049. So this car would have been 32 years old. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty insane when you think about how hard the oil companies were trying to roadblock the electric car. I have to give big props to Tesla and their revolutionary model trio. Uh, we both not. I can't imagine what people from 2017 would think if they knew we'd have self-driving cars and renewable energy that only need a monthly charge. Uh, Ace Academy, uh, sorry, Pixel Fate might be doing a little, little, little nudge nudge there. Just, just a little nudge. It's like a ha 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 ha. Seriously, we're fucked. But the best part's still coming up. Oh, really? What is it? The roar of an engine, of course. I've seen MeTube videos of it, but never had the pleasure of hearing one. My bike is the closest I've come to an authentic engine, uh, and even that is an inadequate comparison. I'm pretty excited, too. Except the key into the ignition. Yeah. Do it. Turns the key. Deep rumbling escapes the cylinders. The engine fires up. Whoa. I point to the car. This I like. Show laughs and cry. Me, too. We hear a really strange noise followed by a painful screech of grinding metal. Uh-oh. What was that? The engine makes dying noises and the car goes silent. Black smoke seeps from under the hood. Oh. Show pops his hood and fiddles around under there, muttering to himself. Oh, man, I knew it. Curse you, Dat Boy 69. Dat Boy 69? Really? You got advice from someone whose username was Dat Boy 69. I can't... Is this music getting quieter? It is. <laughs> What's going on? He was the guy on Kaijiji who sold me this defective part. Um, I don't know what Kaijiji is supposed to be referencing. Somebody's gonna help. Somebody's gonna have to fill that one in for me. He points to something with the minimal understanding of an engine's framework. All I can do is not in sympathy. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Sorry, ma'am. Show shakes his head. Nah, it's okay. This is actually good. Huh? Well, I was starting to feel a little sad when I was finishing up the car. It's been so much fun building it that I wasn't quite ready to let it go and start something new. But now it doesn't have to end. I guess spending that much time on one project, you can get pretty attached to it. I'm sure you'll get working better than before. That's the plan. He scratches the back of his head. Sorry, I guess it wasn't much of a show. I probably should have tested it out first, but I was too excited. Oh. No way, the ignition was totally worth it. You got that right. Both grin. Looks like you got some work to do, so I'm gonna head out. Of course. I'm excited to see the real finished product. Uh, I've never had a chance to drive a muscle car or a manual. All right, off to Eludian. My pleasure. All right, what? yeah. Um. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. If you right, yeah. I'm sorry. Then I'm afraid I. Will. Here comes security. What is the? And then Donnie Why are the guards? Which I am the order here. Thank you. What is this? All yep. What? You are. Come yep. in my office. Nothing changes here. Perhaps I, don't I can think. help. Um. Why is the CEO? No. You're the pilot of Eagle. Yeah. Your gear. We part. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'll have to. You're an interesting. Yep. Okay. So nothing. Yeah, nothing there changes. Use a distraction. Quick save. Um. What would Mayu be doing? Maybe. 
Let me borrow his car so we can load the instruments. Oh, wow, this is the band thing. Hi. Hey, Maya, you ready yep. to go? I have Mitsuki here, too. Hey. I hear Mitsuki through, uh, Mitsuki through the line. Okay. See you okay, soon. so now we get to do the band thing. Um, once we hang up, I drive to Ace and pick up the rest of my team. I kind of... What is Valerie's then? Hold oh. on, can we go back for a second? What is Valerie doing then? Hey there. Yep, I was just thinking how fun it would be to go dancing. But I need a partner. You in? Okay, I need to do a split here. I'm going to do a split. I want to do... Okay, hey. so what I need to do here is I need to... I want to specifically save in this area. Okay. Let's go to Mayu first, just because we've never done this one. Okay, see you soon. Okay, drive to Ace, the rest of my team, then head to the venue. Talent shows, the local music club is already full of patient spectators and participants waiting to set up. Misky sees a friend and dips out uh, to say, below, uh, say hello while Mayu and I run, uh, wait for our turn to play. Most of the bands are actually pretty good. I guess Izokaze is full of untapped potential. Mayu and I bob along to a particularly catchy pop song. Although a smile was on her face, she hugs her arms tightly. Are you nervous? Yeah. Don't worry, we're gonna be great out there. I know, but she looks around and hugs herself even closer. There are just so many people. Once we are on stage and the spotlight is on us, we won't even be able to see them. We'll just be like we're practicing. She nods slowly, mulling over my words. That makes sense. Thanks. She grins. Uh, Misky returns uh, as we are on deck to play next. She bounces excitedly backstage. We're really going to do this, aren't we? I'm so nervous. My heart is beating so fast. Are you nervous? Where is the bathroom? We're going to rock. It's <laughs> so concerning in circles. I think I'm going to be sick. No, no, no. We're going to rock. Are you kidding me? We worked really hard for this. I'm ready to give it my all. Misky grins. Yeah, you're right. We're going to be amazing out there. Yeah. Even Maya seems to relax a bit. Let's do our best. Soon we were introduced onto, uh, onto the stage. Misky bounces out a ball of energy while Mayu and I slowly follow suit. I take a deep breath and try to clear my mind of everything. The cheers from the audience slowly fade as I play my first note. So I, I let the music envelop me, twisting my senses with the ebb and flow of the melody. My fingers dance across the keys on their own as I listen to the chords I know so well. When I strike the last chord, the note hangs in the still air before the crowd erupts into applause. My breath comes out in short gasps, and giving it my all in that performance, sweat drips down Misky's face as she takes a bow, and even Mayu's cheeks are flustered. As she rushes off stage, Misky pumps the, uh, pumps the air excitedly. That was amazing! Good job, guys! Yay! Yay, I think that was our best one yet. Mayu looks down as if she's in a daze. Listen to the crowd! Yeah, they're going nuts! <laughs> the cheer and applause are still going, but still dying down as the next band prepares to go oh, on stage. There are my friends. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Yeah, you have fun with that. Mm hmm Uh, Mayo and I head back to the audience as she goes and Misky goes to her friends. We're about to head to a bar to grab some waters when a couple of girls stop us. Hey, you two are part of that band who just played, right? Yes. Mayu blinks and looks at me. Um, yeah. The girls squeal. I knew it! Oh my god, you were amazing! Oh my god! Thanks. The first girl giggles nervously. Would it be okay if we got your autograph? Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> With a wide smile, I sign the papers they hold out. Then they turn to Mayu. Could we get yours too? Mayu looks surprised. You want mine too? Sign the paper. Yes, of course. Uh, okay. She takes the pen and signs her name in perfect script. Then girls look at me and uh, look at the signature and all. Thanks so much. Yes, thank you. It was our pleasure. We're glad you enjoyed the show. This will mean even more when you guys end up being famous. Yeah. Maya's eyes widen. Famous? Famous. Yeah, you guys were awesome. You'll totally make it one day. Mm-hmm. Anyway, thanks again. You're welcome. Uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Uh, they smile broadly as they disappear into the crowd. Mayu turns to me excitedly. Oh, we have fans. We do. And one day we'll be famous. Do you really think so? Yes. It's possible. Famous. Fame. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Mayu has a dreamy look in her eye. I bet she's imagining what that would be like. We stick around for the rest of the set and enjoy the music and ambience. After all the performances are over, the winners are announced. We placed in third. Boom. Mayu and Mitsuki practically skip back to the car. And I can't keep the grin off my face. It's a great end to the evening. I'm dropping the girls off at Ace. I drive back home. Okay. Now. 
happens if we go back and choose Valerie and we go to the club. Hey. Oh, really? Yeah. Dancing. I don't think I make so, a good dance partner. It doesn't matter if you're good or not, as long as you have fun. Uh, you know, honestly, I would be a great dancer. Uh, watch, I can do All that. All right, but I bet I can get you dancing before the night's done. Good luck. Is this going to be on campus? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Does anything else change? There's Finally, Valerie. You're Obviously. Also, that's weird that they put her here all the way to the left. I thought they would cen center her. Oh, your last. Nope. How do you expect to get in? With my eye. Right. Hi. She's got a fake. Um, let me see that. Bring it close to my face. Huh, this is actually very realistic. Valerie smirks. Pretty good, right? You might be able to get away with it. May I have it back now? Hand it over. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, are we gonna get in line? Valerie laughs. <laughs> Who stands in line? <laughs> Normal people. Um, she stands, uh, strides right up to the bouncer and flashes him an irresistible smile. Then she slips her ID into his hands. Okay. Please, with cool. Would make me That's all the Come same. On, let's, let's go dance. Pull back. Hey, I don't dance. Remember. Pouts. Are you really gonna make me dance alone? You knew what you were getting yourself into when you asked me to come. Too bad. You don't get a choice. She grabs my hand. Okay, so so yeah, so the dancing happens anyway. I told you I'd get you to dance. Okay. You win. She smirks. Um, what if I actually do the chicken dance? <laughs> <laughs> I decided to wow Valerie with my one dance I know. I cluck my hand, beak, slap my arm wings, and wiggle my tail feathers. Okay, are we ready? Uh, I actually don't remember how it goes. Cause I'm, I, I didn't grow I didn't grow up with it. I've seen it like a few times and it's like that. Anyway. Valerie laughs nervously and stops me. Oh, okay. Unless you're a sandwich, the club is no place for a chicken. I guess you could do a chicken club sandwich. Never mind. I was gonna correct her. Oh, but that's my signature move. I can show you some new ones. Um, just rock back and forth. <laughs> just do it. You just do the wee 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 wee. Anyway, um, everyone knows the only way to dance the club is just uh, step from side to side. Valerie watches me and grins. <sighs> the good old side step. The <sighs> side step. Yep. Classic. After dancing together for a while, I feel thirsty. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a drink. Do drink. you want anything? That always shakes her head. Okay, I'll be right I'll back. Be here. Yeah, you have fun with that. And then some random guy corners her. What's a pretty thing? Sorry, but I have a boyfriend. I just. Yeah. Okay, so this is still... that's right. Mm. Guy heads Come over. Come on, before he comes back. Okay, good. What a creep. Yeah. What do you? You don't of have course. one, do you? Wait, seriously? How come I'm only finding about this now? You never asked before. That is also true. Why did you, yeah? To make him jealous. That's stupid. <laughs> that I just, I did invite him. How convenient. Aww. See for your... Okay, yeah, uh, okay, so it is all the same. Nothing Ooh. changes. Break's over, mister. How should you go out dancing? Okay. Ah, right, yeah, so, so nothing, nothing changes there. I don't, I don't, uh, okay, so that doesn't affect anything. I was expecting, all right, so the reason why I went through it again is because I was expecting maybe Cowrie comes up in conversation during that because if the implication is that Valerie was actually trying to make you je uh, make her boyfriend jealous or something like that, maybe then Cowrie comes up and then that gets weird. But no, apparently nothing. Um, she glances oh, at me and grins. good, you're here. Where are your rubber bands? <laughs> rubber bands. Um, this is where they're going to pull the prank on, uh, Kaito. As soon as... Just do it. It'll be worth it. Nothing is different here. Kaito, are you going into... No problem. Thank you. Yep. You I do... Nothing here is different. <laughs> okay. One day you can... Don't... You... Yeah, we were all in on it. Ha 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. is... So this is the Illudian thing. The um, same overdrive mode. Yes. That was your. F was yeah. this? I'll have the. Same here. Not Nikki yet. Home. She is such a busy bee. Nothing has changed. Dicky finally comes home. 
All right, so nothing there has changed either. Sorry, I hate to be doing like the whole skipping through thing. Um, Animatic, uh, anime con is today, and I can't think of a better person to go with than Kauri. Uh, I quickly get ready, then scavenge the fridge for food. I need to stock up on calories so my pockets won't be gouged by overpriced mediocre venue food. Uh, Nikki is working at the restaurant today. Uncle Kaido and Aunt Yuki have gone on some sort of trip. I don't really know where, and I don't want to know why. Uh, sorry, uh, but they were in even more of a hurry to leave than I am. That's crazy because I am a young, a young male who 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 yearns for love, whereas you two are old as fuck and been doing this shit forever. Uh, as I eat, I browse my tablet and check out the different options for the con today. There are panels uh, held by all sorts of people, cosplay contests, and lots of merchandise for purchase. I wish I could check out everything. Once I'm done eating, I clean up and then drive myself to the train station. Carrie waits on the platform. Hey. Oh, she look, she look good. Look at her. She looks so good. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I want. I want this. Oh, man. Yeah, look, look, look at that. She looks so good. She got the belt on and, like, the, she got, like, the shirt and, like, the, 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 the this and then, like, the shorts. And look, thigh high. She knows. She knows I like the thigh highs. Okay. Me, me, me gusta. Me, uh, uh can I, I, I want to do, like, my best Uncle Miguel impression. Like, oh, yeah, look at her, man. That's my, that's my, that's my, uh, what is, uh, if, if, that, if, she, if he's Uncle Miguel, that's my, that's my niece, you like my niece, right? You want to marry my niece, marry my niece, she's a wonderful girl, oh, look at you two lovebirds, I can't wait to hear about, um, why, why is he turning Russian, why is he turning Russian, just stop, Blackjack, just stop, you're terrible. Hey. Hey, already to, really, just all ready to go? Of course. I mapped out the most effective way to see all the best panels and guest stars while still leaving time to browse around the marketplace. Okay. Is there a situation she doesn't have strategies? Uh, doesn't have to strategize still. I did say I wanted to hit as much as possible. Sounds like a game plan. Soon our train pulls into the station as we uh, quiet down as we get on. Uh, um, the hum of the motor makes me sleepy and my eyes droop. Carrie stays out the window. I wonder what she's thinking. After a lengthy ride, we arrive in the city and head to the convention center. The first thing I notice is that we're back at campus for some reason. <laughs> sheer amount of people. I feel like I'm back in New York. After living in Izukaze for so long, I've always almost forgotten what a crowded room feels like. I drink in the sights and sounds. A constant buzz of laughter and chatter hangs heavy in the air and circles around the line of the booths. I try to read all the posters, especially the ones with cute girls on them. But there's only one cute girl you care about. Suddenly, Calvary grabs my arms. I jump back to reality after feeling guilty. She wasn't paying attention to me, though, as she was uh, points to a group of cosplayers dressed as Ninja Rangers. Look! Go get a picture with them. You don't think they'll mind? No. I think they'd enjoy the attention. Okay. She seems giddy as she practically bounces over to the group. I see them all grin and nod enthusiastically, and Calvary monitors, uh, monitors for me to t uh, mo motions for me to take a picture. Uh, as I flip out my phone, pull out my phone, <laughs> this is 2004, uh, the rangers surround Kauri and each strike their character's signature pose. It's like I'm going to a real, uh, it's like I'm looking at a real Ninja Rangers poster. Thanks, guys. They give her a thumbs up, Seem seeming pleased with themselves. Kauri returns and looks at the picture. Really, everything on me itches. That actually came out pretty well. Yay. She doesn't seem, uh, it doesn't have to sound so surprised. I'm next for photographer, duh. Oh, sorry. I probably should have asked if you wanted your photo taken. Oh, uh, yeah, best girlfriend ever. He forgets to take you, uh, forgets to do that. I shake my head. It's fine, I'm just here to soak in the environment. Besides, I'll just keep a picture for myself and cherish it forever. Uh, uh you know, because, because you're happy and you're in the photo. Uh, she nods and grabs my hand. Come on, let's go check out the first panel on our list. Okay. Uh, Kauri seems to know exactly how she <laughs> she's going to make, uh, uh Kauri seems to know exactly where she's going as she drags me through the crowd. Finally, we stop before a, sign, a big sign that says, How to make visual novels. Oh, 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 man, can't wait for this, uh, this, uh, self-aggrandizing hand job that's about to happen. I didn't know you liked visual novels. I also didn't know <laughs> you liked going to... Uh, uh, different venues that we've already been to, but somehow is also here. Um, she shrugs. I guess it never came up. I bet Cowrie plays them for the same reason I do. <laughs> oh. Oh, she must. Oh wait, I should probably save <laughs> because hentai. <laughs> 
Uh, obviously, it's for the character. She must enjoy the storyline. Jeez, why? Why? Why is everything? Jeez. Um... I'm actually going to try all three of these. I'm going to go with the funny one first. I grin. Oh, it all makes sense now. <laughs> Kelly raises an eyebrow. Huh? What do you mean? Don't worry. Even the... If, if, if that's supposed to be, like, erotic or eroge, is if that's what that's supposed to mean, I have no idea what that word means. Uh, uh, v ends. Oh, oh, the eroge v... Rogue. Is that a word in English that I just I just can't pronounce? Give me give me one second. I'm gonna look it up now. And now my phone's probably gonna get a lot of viruses. Oh, it is a rogue. That is. Oh my God. And oh Jesus, why? Oh. All right. I'll explain what I just saw. So I looked up a rogue. Uh, which is, uh, uh, essentially it's a Japanese pornographic video game. That's what it is. Um, but, but that's not the first thing I saw and what came up. It also came up with people also search for, and the first one, the first two have to do with Doki Doki Literature Club, and the first one is the fucking Yuri with her eyes cut out and, like, bleeding. Why? Why, why, why? Oh. Okay, can, can I unsee that? Okay, so it is eroge. That's that 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 is that is what that's supposed to be. Gowie's face flushes. That's not why I play them. <laughs> but you do play them. Um, I just always enjoyed visual novels, like even Valhalla. Valhalla is not a dating like uh, visual novel whatsoever. It's just a very interesting, fun game, and it talks about bartending. I just. Honestly, I don't have books. I don't like have physical books. And like, I know there's like that stupid meme about, oh, you know, you should, if a guy doesn't have a book or a bookshelf or anything like that, he's probably not worth dating. Fuck that. I'm probably helping the environment by reading things on the internet and actually like playing games like this and reading novels this way. I don't necessarily need the physical fucking thing there. Um, I enjoy this a lot more. You're twisting my words. Uh oh. I play them for the story. I skip any of the other stuff. Oh, bullshit. Sure. Carrie punches my arm, although more gently than she usually does. Stop being a pervert. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't lump me in there with show. Don't do that. I'll rub my arm. It still hurts. Anyway, I think learning how to make a visual novel would be interesting. I kind of want to do that one day, actually. I, I, Because I want to see if I could actually write one that's very good. Um, especially because you have to deal with, like, options and, like, um, chaining things together and whatnot. I would definitely voice act for one. I would love to voice act for a visual novel. Um, obviously, it's for the characters. I like visual novels that focus on character interactions. I actually do, too. Uh, Danganronpa's another one. Carrie nods. That's true. I mainly enjoy the storyline. Oh, sorry. Uh, she must enjoy the storyline. I haven't played too many, but what I do, what I enjoy about them is that they focus a lot on creating interesting storyline and plot. Kauri nods excitedly. Yes, exactly. Most games focus so much on player controls and character manipulation that they forget all about the storyline. Mm -hmm. I like that visual novels are the opposite of that and give the player free reign to choose how they want the story to go. Exactly, kind of, yeah. Um... It's a big, like, so a big reason why Final Fantasy VII is, like, one of my favorite games of all time, even though I do like RPGs, um, I really do, I really, like, back in the day, I had a huge love of RPGs. The story of Final Fantasy VII to me was, like, really good, um, and it entranced me and kept me interested um, the whole way through. I think Eris's death was the first time I ever cried at anything, a movie or visual, um, so uh, I'll actually give the, the two ones from youth that I can actually remember. It would have been um, Eris's death and then um, Haku's death from Naruto or Naruto. Um, that was actually a big one for me. Like I legit cried. Um, if you see my Dog and Rampa playthrough, I don't necessarily cry through any of them. There's just a lot of shock. Like, um, well, I don't want to spoil anything. If you haven't seen it yet, actually go to my channel. I know Danganronpa is like old as fuck now, but still. 
Kaori plays, uh, plays video games and likes them. This is even more surprising to learn if she likes anime. Anyway, I think learning how to make a visual novel would be interesting. I agree. It would be. Let's go find good seats. Kaori nods and we head inside. Before long, the room fills up and the panelists take their seats in front of them. Oh boy! Pixel Fade, tell me more! Hello everyone. I am Dishu from Pixel Fade, and these are my colleagues. Huh, I didn't think this is actually what he would sound like. So, I'm, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm a Pixel Fader, so I'm in the uh, the Discord. And, uh, yeah, no, Dishu is, uh, he'll constantly like, post like little updates and stuff that he's doing. The team, in turn, introduces themselves as Katie, Sh and Sunimu, Rishu, and Chris. So, who's ready to make a visual novel? Me! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! The crowd cheers in affirmation. I look over at Kaori, who watches attentively. Let's talk about how to make a school slice of life romance visual novel. Let's talk about how we maybe need to turn up your volume track a little bit more. <laughs> I'm just giving, I'm giving you shit, Dishu. I love you, man. Enjoy my $25 a month. We uh, have a four-step approach to this. Mm-hmm. Up oh, shit! No, 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 no! <laughs> Here we, look at me! Here I am shitting on Dishu, and I can't even learn how to control a goddamn menu. Uh, no. First, you should pick popular character tropes for the romance options and make them all into waifu material. He really does know how to like do self-deprecating self humor. I, I, I do have to give him that. I would highly recommend including at least one sundere archetype since it seems to be a popular choice. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Uh, I, I, I've told everybody my extremes on attraction are either innocence or like, um, or snort, like, you know, like that, that's, if there's no in between, it's just the polars. So, um, Dog and Rampa, my favorite girl is Celeste. I love Celeste. Uh, Kyoko was like right, like dead center for me. Um, although Kyoko has a little bit more interesting attributes to her than um, most others. But yeah, no, it was just like, yep, it's definitely, definitely Celeste. Secondly, make sure you have an abundance of comedy. Clever fourth wall breaking may be appropriate. You mean like right now? <laughs> Thirdly, you want to make sure the player is engaged. Give them choices so they feel immersed and active in the world. To be fair, even in my first playthrough of this, while I had like a few issues here and there, um, this was actually pretty immersive. And like I said, it's the best thing that's happened on my channel. This Dishu guy is right. I don't know about that. <laughs> eh, choices that don't do anything feel hollow. And lastly, you must include words and phrases like Oni-chan. It's Goi Disney, Senpai, and Baka. Every possible opportunity. I, I tried to say that as, like, as I imagined as it was going along, like, how he would probably say, like, Onichan, or Sugoi Disney, or Senpai, or oh, Baka. Alright, you know what? I nod. He made some good points. And last, if people start saying your project is for Weeboos, then you're on the path to success. The panel continues and each person elaborates on their specific role. They provide a lot of insider information and the crowd seems to be enjoying it. It's refreshing to see that although these guys take their craft seriously, they certainly don't take themselves seriously. It's pretty much what you gotta do. Additional to this, they provide insight information about budgeting about for their indie development. We learn that sometimes uh, sometimes compromises have to be made due to limited resources, such as black silhou silhouettes instead of full sprites for extra characters, or even cameo characters. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot. Also, Dishu is one of our, our sludge overlords. <laughs> oh, man. Just think, this whole time, I've been making fun of the whole silhouettes, and here they are finally like... Jackass, we don't have the money to do that. Dishu reassures that as developers, you can trust our fan base to understand. That's it from us. Thank you all for coming out. The crowd claps as they exit. Kaori and I also head out. Which thing? She perks up. It was really good. They covered a broad range of subjects. Yeah, <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> Did you also fear that weirdness of just like how maybe they're talking to, to, to me specifically? No? Oh, okay. Agreed. So what's next on the agenda? Well, I'm looking forward to the panel with singer Emily. 
It's not for another hour, though. So, let's go explore the market. I think that... I believe that... I know that name. Emily... Give me one second here. Emily, if I'm not mistaken, is the one who um, voices... Is she the one that voices Valerie? And the Pongo, I think it is. Let me let me let me look that up again. Um, along with voicing, oh no, she voices May. That's who it is. She voices um, she voices May. Hold on, where is it? Uh, anime, video games. Oh no, that's what it is. Okay. So she does, so she voices May and she voices Leanna. That's who it is. It's Leanna. I, I had to think about it for a second. Okay, that's what it is. Got it. Sounds good to me. Whoa, dude. Oh, this looks cool. This might, this might be a thumbnail. I, I, think, I think there's a thumbnail here. Okay. Get, no, no, no. Don't make, make me go away. Oh, that's cool. That's sweet. Oh, shit. No, don't make the game go away, you idiot. Blackjack, what are you doing? Uh, there's merchandise ranging from uh, mangas, wall scrolls, cosplays, mock weapons, artwork, and tons more. Uh -huh. Kawi squeals and darts to, one, uh, to, uh, to one of the stalls. She picks up a stuffed yellow thingy with red cheeks and squeezes it to a uh, Pikachu. Pikachu. Oh. He's so cute. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> Oh, uh, I stare at her. The last time I saw her. Oh, 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 wait, 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 yeah, buddy, I know. High five. All right, cool, whatever. Um, <clears throat> uh, where did I put this? There we go. Um, last time I was, was like at a certain victory party party in too many shots. Kauri uh, notices my stare, then blushes and pouts, uh, puts down stuff Pikachu. If you're into that sort of thing. Yes, I am. If you're into that sort. Uh, we can always get it later. I'll be bankrupt if I start buying. No, get it towards a gift. Uh, I pick up Pikachu again and bounce it on top of her head so it looks like it's giving her a hug. I look straight into her eyes. It's adorable. She blushes and I turn to the vendor. How much? Wait, I can pay for it. I know you can, but I'm going to. No. Really? You don't? No. I quickly tap my card against the reader. Her car can pull out her own card. She pouts and looks like she wants to argue again. I put the Pikachu in front of my face to pretend it's talking. Don't make that face it. <clears throat> uh, no, wouldn't it just be Pika Pika Pikachu? I do. Wow. My Pikachu voice sucks. Like 15 years ago, I had like a perfect Pikachu voice. I can't do it anymore because now I have I have like a little bit of bass now, so it's hard for me to do like higher pitch stuff. Although my Monokuma voice is not quite bad. <clears throat> It's a little hoarse, but it's not bad. Um, don't make that face at <laughs> don't make that face at Turd Burger. He's just being nice. Then I use the Pikachu to try and hug her face. She dodges, but I am relentless. I can hear her giggle. <laughs> Stop. I grin and hand her the gift. See, this is this is this is why this is why. Okay, now I know why I would have liked Cowrie. Cowrie's best girl. Uh, she smiles and squeezes it against her chest. Thank you. Oh, you, oh, I'm sorry. Do I have to say thank you for you? Do you, you were just unable to say that line yourself. Uh, we wander around the marketplace for a while longer and spend equal time checking out people's cosplays as well as the booths. We found Pixel, uh, Pixel Fade stall and made a point to look at their merch and uh, merch. They had some really cool art and posters featuring something called Crystalline. How did they sneak that in there? I thought that they didn't know what their next product was at the end of the game. How did they sneak that in there? Whatever that is. It's almost time for the Emily panel. Let's go. Lead the way. The Emily panel is almost, uh, uh almost, uh, pfft. Yeah, pfft. The Emily panel is already mostly full by the time we show up, but we still managed to find decent seats. 
A few minutes later, the crowd erupts into cheers and applause as Emma Lee walks out. She smiles and waves as she takes her seat at the solo panel. Hello, everyone. Oh, that's she, look at her. She's cute. And look, look at that. That's cute. That's a cute little... Um, I don't know if I'm going to use that as the thumbnail, but I do want, like, if people actually just want the shot of just that, that actually, that's a really cool, yeah, no, I like that. That's nice. Okay. Uh, the panel begins, and that, that is Leanna. Leanna, that, that, that's who voices her. And she talks about what she has planned, including which songs will be getting covered and how songs are created. Judging by the rapt attention of the audience, everyone seems to be enjoying the discussion. Soon it comes time for the Q&A section of her panel. A line forms in front of a mic to ask her questions. What's your favorite cover to have worked on? The ones that are the most challenging are usually my favorite. <laughs> it's fun to try something new. So I also did find out that apparently um, her YouTube channel is called uh, Lee and Lee. Because um, I think it's like one of their names was like... I, so it used to be two people in a channel and then I guess her friend doesn't do it anymore I, I don't know uh, anything else outside of that and then i was like wait they have a million fucking subscribers um but yeah no she does like a lot of covers and stuff on her channel so if you want to check her out i guess I, I guess since they're already advertising her it's not like i'm playing the games that she's in but yes that is um that is that is a youtube channel uh, the guy grins as the next person steps up to the microphone. I actually, and it's surprising, with 1.2 million subscribers, I thought I would have known something about her. That goes to show you how broad of a spectrum YouTube is and how you can just easily miss people. Do you have any singing tips? Uh, Emily uh, nods and looks determined. <laughs> yeah, I have some singing tips. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Practice and practice. Uh, sure, that. And then when you think you've done enough, practice some more. It's a simple and boring answer, but it's the truth. It was weird. I I, I had something to say in there, and then I forgot, and that's why I just laughed. <laughs> um, because we only see the end result. It's easy to forget that uh, each video includes hours of practice and work. That is very true. Um, a lot of times what you're seeing is the finished product of something, but you don't see how much practice that and how much work has gone into that. It's like nothing, uh, the thing that people forget, especially on like my sports channel, is that a lot of the stuff that I do takes like unbelievable amount of time to actually do. So when they're seeing like a 15 minute video or a 20 minute video and they see it and like, man, this is so good. Why is the next thing taking so long to come out? I'm like, because you don't realize how much effort is going into that. Like that 20 minute video you're seeing is taking a week of time for me to actually put together on top of going to work and all that other stuff. Yada, yada, yada. You guys don't care about that. Uh, the audience mumbles in agreement as uh, another person reaches for the mic. Why are your lyrics different from the source translations? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> uh oh, it's that guy from the Me Too comments. Uh, the rest of the audience glares at him, but Emily smiles politely. Well, direct translations never fit the meter of the song, so they have to be altered slightly to fit and rhyme and flow. Yeah, duh. <laughs> the guy doesn't seem content with the answer, and it rudely hogs the mic. People grumble in irritation, but he ignores them. Yeah, but I took that language class in high school and used Google Translate, and it was all wrong. There are some things in certain languages that you just can't translate perfectly into English because it loses its meaning at that point. It doesn't necessarily matter whether or not you can translate and be like, well, this is exactly what it's supposed to mean. It's irrelevant at that point because it's going to get lost in translation anyway. Um, what's, I, I think there's like... Um, I'm trying to think of like a really good example. Like... There, there's a difference between like, okay, so like for instance, um, there, there's something called a gerund in Latin. Uh, well, I mean, gerunds are technically in English too, but uh, for instance, like uh, Amanda is a gerund, uh, Miranda is a gerund, and that's where the origin of those, those names come from. Um, it comes from the Latin noun, um, or sorry, the Latin verb, uh, Miranda comes from the Latin verb miris, uh, meaning to wonder. So Miranda is... A girl who should be wondered at or, or uh, uh, wondered at or admired. Um, Amanda comes from the Latin word amo, 
which a uh, Latin verb amo, which means to love, and Amanda means a girl who should be loved. Um, it's you're not literally going to tr- like like those things are lost even in translation like they're, they're, it's not going to mean the same thing as you just kind of go like oh yeah Amanda is a girl to be loved no it's like I, I, I don't know I, I, I'm kind of there's, there's better examples than that but like that's one I can think of like off the top of my head um, it's the same thing it's like uh, uh, like luck culture uh, or like luck so like in Japan like you're not supposed to give dishes or gifts in like uh, like if you give dishes or something like that you're not supposed to give them in four and four because four is the number for death yon is death so instead you give them in three and five um it's like stuff like that and whatnot and it's difficult to just be like just say it in english because it takes so much more explanation um that at that point it's better anyway i'm gonna keep going amelie continues to smile although i can tell now that's a little strained it's hard if you've never tried it yourself, but if you take a direct translation <laughs> and try to sing it to the song, you'll hear how awkward it sounds. Just like that rambling I just did was awkward for about two to three minutes. The guy looks like he's about to ask another question, but one of the security guys reminds everyone the, of the one question rule. Reluctantly, he yields the mic. The next person takes the microphone and smiles broadly. Do you sing in the shower? Any remaining tension dissipates as Emily chuckles. <laughs> as everyone else. I never sing badly. I don't know what you're talking about. We hear a yell from behind us. Both Amelie and the crowd laugh. The rest of the Q&A session continues without incident. Uh, there's a collective awe as Amelie concludes the panel and her and everyone rushes to get her autograph. The line is so long it stretches out into the hall. Do you want to go get a signature? If it's not too much trouble, I think I'd like that. I bet you would. Sure thing. We patiently align. Eventually, it's Kauri's turn. Quick save. Hey. Kauri blushes and stumbles to get her words out. H- Hi. Could I get your autograph? <laughs> of course. Who should I make it out to? Turd Burger. Kauri, please. <laughs> and yes, and how do you spell that? I, I have to translate it, so there's a possibility I'm going to spell it wrong. <laughs> she just gives it to her, and it's like, it's like C-O-W-R-I, Kauri. <laughs> um, Emily nods and scribbles onto a poster. All right, here you go. Kauri grabs the poster and smiles. We take a quick poster, uh, photo with Emily and walk out to the hall. Why does it seem to have shortened any? <sighs> Kauri has a dreamy look in her eye, mainly because she's looking at me. I can't believe I got to meet Emily! Uh, or that. That also works. I nod. Yeah, al- although I found it kind of strange. Hmm? Doesn't she sound exactly like May? <laughs> Kauri's eyes widen. You think so too? I was thinking the exact same thing, but didn't want to say anything in case it was all in my head. A weird coincidence, I suppose. We both nod. Okay. Next on the agenda. So many fourth wall breaks. Um, alternating listening between panels and checking out the marketplace. As we run through Cowrie's list and things to begin to wi- uh, wind down, Cowrie checks her phone. Okay, here we go. It's getting pretty late. We should check into our hotel. Excuse me? We should what? We got a hotel? Well, well. The game is afoot now, isn't it? Sure. Uh, we managed to snag a room a few nights before at the hotel around the corner from the event. <laughs> I thought they would have been sold out, but we got lucky. Oh, great. Uh, we approach the front desk and Cal provides our name. Uh, the front desk agent types into her computer and frowns. I'm sorry, I can't seem to find your reservation. Oh, really? Do you have the confirmation number? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, um, uh, it's, uh, a second here. Oh, I got it. I just pulled it up. Okay, hold on. Here we go. It's, um, hold on. Got it. It's, uh, 1-C-1-C-1. This joke doesn't work anymore because there's no, that, it, I, I was trying to do fucking leaks. Uh, uh, never mind. All right, moving on. Um, yeah, hold on. Uh, she rummages through her emails and recites a code. The front desk agent checks again and shakes her head. I'm very sorry. Oh, boy. 
Kauri shows her phone and the agent's face shows her the email. I don't understand. I booked it a few days ago. Here's the confirmation I got. The agent reviews it. Unfortunately, since she books through a third party agency, there must have been a complication, and we never received the reservation. We're at full capacity for the room type that you booked. Oh, we're at full capacity for the room type that we booked. So now I don't get my nice luxury suite. Kari looks worried. Isn't there anything you can do? I was expecting her to blow up, but she is surprisingly calm. Kauri notices me staring at her. Um. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, nothing, sorry. Okay. Uh, I can just drive us back to my place. We haven't been drinking. I haven't been drinking. To my knowledge, there's been no drinking. Let me see. We do have a suite available. Since this was a system glitch, I'll waive the upgrade costs, and we'll charge you the same price you were quoted for the standard room. Oh, we get a suite now. Sweet. Thanks, we really appreciate that. Cowrie blinks. Thank you. No problem. Again, sorry for the inconvenience. Yay! She hands us our keys and goes through the usual spiel about the rooms. We hope you enjoy your stay. Yay! Kauri and I head into the elevator and find our room. We enter the key, and as we walk in, my jaw drops. Damn, son! Where'd you find that? Oh, where'd you find... Ah, oh, damn it. It's... <clears throat> the old thing is... <clears throat> damn, son, where'd you find this? Uh, it's... That is... That is another voice that's hard to do. That one. Where it's like that... that, that I love that drop so much. I want to... That's where I should add as a Twitch notification. Uh, the suite is beautifully furnished with a king bed and a chase lounge. Um, a two-person dining room table and chairs is by the wide window, which overlooks the city. Soft candle lights cast playful shadows on the rose petals scattered on the bed. Really? Rose petals? Look, I'm romantic, but I'm not. Really? Rose petals? And a box of chocolates is enticingly open on the pillows. Oh my god, this is like the most cheesiest, lamest thing I've ever heard of. Okay, let's quick save here. A sweet, huh? More like a honeymoon sweet. My eyes drift back to the, uh, to the one bed in the room. Ooh, me gusta. Um, I like where this is going. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready, Kauri. This is definitely a misunderstanding. No, I like where this is going. That smile would appreciate if we hit the display. I didn't know you had the side to you, Kauri. Her eyes widen. She punches me hard on the arm. Stop being a pervert. I didn't book this. Ugh. <laughs> she stomps to the phone and dials the front desk. What is this room? The room I booked had two beds. Oh. There's only one in here and other weird things oh so you, you wanted us to say but we're but you don't have to we didn't need two beds calvary we so so you so oh so that's that's what it was implying by there's not a room like that because there's not a two bed thing there's only a, a one a one bed calvary how about we stop complaining and let's actually go let's go and talk about your, your thinking when you booked this hotel when we were still dating we were definitely no, we, we we were dating at the time, and we're still dating now. And you thought a two a two bedroom, why 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 put out the money for a two bedroom when we can just have a one bedroom? It's not like we didn't cuddle on my 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 bed not too long ago. Okay. What do you mean there are no more rooms with two beds? That's what. Yes, I can see there's a couch. <laughs> yep, that's where your ass is sleeping. Uh, Carrie grumbles and hangs up the phone. So that sounds like it went well. <laughs> Carrie sighs. <sighs> We're stuck with the room. Nothing else is available. Okay, let's the let's actually stop see. Being <laughs> My cheeks flush. Uh, this is all moving so fast. Gary Sam was out of reply. Her face equally red. It, it's not what you think. I originally booked two beds. Lame. Uh, let's see. Uh, this doesn't seem right. Gary's cheeks are staying red as she nods. This isn't right. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I like that. I like where this is going better, even if she just. Yes. Okay. <sighs> We're stuck with the. The last train to Izakaze departed an hour ago. Yeah. Hmm. I look between the lounge and the very comfortable-looking bed. Um, 
I guess I can always go backwards. I can sleep on the lounge. No, I imagine we can share is probably what I actually want to do. Um, I think that's probably going to be the bigger moment. So I'm going to do the one I think is lame first. It's fine. I can sleep on the lounge. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't mind. I only came today to spend time with you. Oh, really? Because you're doing quite the opposite now. She blushes. Th thank you. Albums of a lounge is settle in. It's not too bad. I've definitely slept on worse. Kyrie sits atop the bed and looks at me. Seriously, don't worry about it. Okay. Love you too. We both get ready for bed. I return to the couch and roll over, trying to get comfortable, and then close my eyes. After a few minutes, I hear the bathroom door open. A soft pressure dips uh, dips the couch. I open to see my eyes and see Kyrie sitting beside me. I immediately scoot up into a sitting position. Kyrie, hold on. Let me make sure I did quick save Are there because I don't know if I did. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure my quick save is there. Kyrie? She snuggles into me and wraps her arms around my neck. Aww. My heart beats a mile a minute. Thank Kyrie. Thanks for everything. Hesitantly, she leans in and kisses me gently on the lips. She lingers with me on the lounge and we silently enjoy each other's company. As my arms start to droop, I'm barely aware of Kyrie planning one more last kiss before slipping away as I fall asleep. The sharp ringing of cutlery wakes me up. Kyrie sits by the table. Oh, did I wake you? Okay, now let's go back. Quick load. We can share. All right, this this has got to be the better one. I mean, the bed is pretty big. I mean, I because mean, it still like did that, but I imagine this has to be better, right? It can easily fit two people. This is true. Kyrie blushes and shakes her head. Well then. Um, I mean, that's what I want to do. I'm <laughs> just fine. I'll take the bed then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I, I, we, we did this already. Fine then. I'll take the bed. I dive into the bed and start fish in the middle. Just, this is totally what I would do. I'm like, nope, mine. What? What do you mean, what? I offered the share and you said no, so I'm taking the bed. Kylie scowls and clenches her hands at the fist. Get off of there. Nope. <laughs> Make me. <laughs> she grabs a hold of my arms and tries to pull me off. She's barely able to move me. Then she crosses to the other side of the bed and attempts to roll me off, but I plant myself firmly into the place and she's equally unsuccessful. Remember, uh, bro, do you even lift? 200 pounds here, bro. You ain't moving me. Uh, Kylie pouts and pleads with me, uh, pleads with me with wide eyes. Ah, uh, the puppy dog guys. Kyrie's an amateur. <laughs> it's an amateur hour compared to Nikki. Who would have known having a little sister would provide such useful training? Nice try. You are such a jerk. Yep. Kyrie grabs the extra pillows on the bed in the lounge, creates a barrier right down the middle of the bed. She sits down on her side, as close to the far end of the bed as possible. Well, this you went stay well. on your side, and I'll stay on mine. Okay. Jeez. Well, this is lame. Maybe I should have just slept in the lounge. That's what I was saying from the start. No funny business. All the funny business, though. I like funny business. No funny business. Fine. We both get ready for bed. I hadn't realized just how exhausted I was until my head hit the pillow. The bed is like a soft cloud cradling me. I occasionally feel movement, but I'm too tired for it to be a real distraction. It takes no time at all before I drift to sleep. My eyes slip open in the darkness. I'm not sure what woke me, but I feel a small hand against my chest. Oh, it does pay off to be an asshole, doesn't it? Okay, I think we found the actual thumbnail for this episode. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, this music's gonna be in my head forever. Okay. Uh, as my eyes adjust to the darkness, I look down to see Kaori's sleeping face. Her brows and mouth are relaxed. She looks so peaceful yet vulnerable uh, without her fierce scowl. Also, why am I not in my boxers? I gently wrap my arms around her and hold her against me. She sit, uh, stirs a bit but doesn't wake up. Instead, she. Hi. Hello? Hi, hi. Hello, singing voices in my ears. Where did you come from? Um, 
I nuzzle my face into her hair and drink in her scent. Uh, her body fits perfectly in my arms. <laughs> All that working out, right? Um, as if we're two pieces of a puzzle. And the gentle uh, up and down of her breathing relaxes me. I wish this moment would never end. <laughs> I ruined the moment. Yay. Listening to the room, uh, rhythm of the, <laughs> listen to the rhythm, rhythm of the street. Uh, and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful. Oh, God. I just, my voice just cracked. I'm done. I gradually fall asleep with cowrie in my arms. No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course I love you. I want to have more moments like this. I hold her in my arms in the tranquility of night and sleep to the rhythm of her heartbeat. She is the fire that fuels my passion. Mainly just a fire that just, just, she's, it's just, she's literal fire. I don't know if it fuels my passion, but she is fire. And now that I have her, I can't imagine life without her. Of one thing that, uh, one thing I am certain, I love you. Aw, oh, she didn't say anything back because she's asleep and didn't hear you. That works. So that's weird. So you get the, the cool little CGI thing if you do the bed thing, but if you do the, um, if you stay on the couch, then she's like kissing you and everything, which is awesome. Um, so I don't know which, which is actually better. All right, so now she's making food and shit. Oh, did I wake you? Sorry. I push myself up to a sitting position. Good morning. Kyrie smiles at me. Morning. I ordered room service. Oh, that's that's totally fine because uh, my ass is definitely not cooking today. Uh, my stomach growls at the tradition at the delicious smell of breakfast wafted in the air. It's been so long since I had the traditional Japanese breakfast. This is perfect. I join Kyrie at the table and we dig in. I can't keep the soil off my face as we eat. Is this what it's like to be a couple? Yeah. Uh, Kyrie casually meets my eyes and blushes. Did you sleep okay? Cowie blushes even more. I wonder how she felt waking up entwined in my arms. Yes. Ooh. I might need to... Okay. I want to go back for a second. Oh, fuck. I didn't think about that. Okay. So here's what I need to do. Yeah. When I get here, I need to... Um... Do this real quick. So it needs to be a hard save here. Yeah. Right? And then I get here, sleep on the lounge. Right? I can do a hard save here. Okay? And then I can do a we can share and do a hard save here. Okay. Now, if I do sleep on the lounge, what changes here? Okay, so I do that, right? Oh, did I wait? Mo okay. Uh um, Kaori ca uh, casually meets my eyes and blushes. Once we're done with breakfast, we pack up our things and catch the train back to Izokaze. Okay, so it doesn't even mention that at all. Okay, so that's that's the okay. So that's your reward for being an asshole. Okay. It easily fits two people. I'll take the bed. Love you. Okay, there we go. Now we're back. Um, did you sleep okay? Here we go. Yes. Actually, I had a really weird dream. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Oh. Yeah. It was you and me, and we were at a restaurant. Okay. Or I think it was a cafe. Mm-hmm. That's not strange, considering we've done that before. I know. We were just chatting like we always do. But then, out of nowhere, you said- I love you. Her face flushes and she shakes her head. Never mind. Forget I said anything. No, it totally happened. I just said it while you were sleeping, but not while we were at a cafe. Hurry up and eat your breakfast or we'll miss our train. I grin. I guess she did hear me after all. Kauri keeps shooting glances at me as we finish eating. The more she looks at me, the more embarrassed she becomes. Once I'm at breakfast, we pack up our... Okay, so we do head back. Okay. Kauri stares out the window uh, like before. I try to focus on the scenery too, but my gaze keeps slipping back at her. That's love. When we finally arrive at Izokaze Station, we face each other on the platform. Thanks for coming with me. I had a really great time. I guess we'll just never see each other again after this. No, I'm kidding. Me too. 
She doesn't say something quickly hugs me and lets me go. The fuck is that? Uh, I'll see you again on Monday. Hi, you better get your ass back over here. We're kissing. If not sooner. She smiles and leaves to catch her bus back to Ace when I drive back home. Boo! 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 Um... Wait, what did that say? So, as I do, head straight from memory in bed. I couldn't ask for a better day yesterday. No, you couldn't have, but there's something comfortable about coming back to my own bed. I'm going to miss that king-size bed. I don't know what you're talking about. Phone rings. It's from Nikki. Thank God you're home. Okay, it's this. Okay, quick save. Please. Um, I'll be there in a minute. Thanks. Okay, yeah, this is the so king thing. Yeah. No. Right. Um, but I do want to see. It, can I cock block Nikki? Um. Uh. Yeah. I mean, that's I'm glad. Thanks for being there for. I only did what anyone would have. Okay. Um. I appreciate the thought, but I would. No. Okay. So I insist. What if they I know my brother. Me. Okay. So we go back to the bookstore. Um, quick save here. I'm not convinced. Just because Ken has top grades, an impeccable work ethic, and sense of responsibility, and more disciplined than guys my age, doesn't mean he's right for you, Nikki. <laughs> no, the reason why is because I got fucked over in the first playthrough and came through for you. So now it's my turn to go, <laughs> ah! Um, he'll have to do more than that to impress me. Uh, we wait a while until, uh, Ken's brother shows up. You convince Ken to go to the hospital and Ken has his own safe. Face is unusually serious. She hangs her head and stares at her feet. I'm so sorry. Why? If I hadn't gone to visit Ken. You know what? No, I can't be that much of a dick. All right, fine. We approve. Yeah, y'all have fun. Y'all. Because he's my senpai. Yeah, that's hilarious. But Um, yeah, nothing, nothing different is here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, that's Kaito. I thought that's a Kauri for a second. Yeah, no, all this is the same. Nothing here changed. And we go back to Ace. This is all the same still. Quick save here. Here's, yeah, James. Yeah, this is my dad. Not my own. Hey, goodbye. Yeah, I don't Good. think anything there my changed. Only. But most of all, I know I probably take care. Yeah, nothing there is different. Okay. I'm gonna save here real quick. Uh, I think before I destroyed it all, so what if I keep it protected? See the future. I don't want Dana to sacrifice. I want to see his dream. He gets a faint for then. Um, it becomes an opaque object. Oh, sorry. After collecting all the schematics and data into a drive, I set an impossible run in instance. Um, the low glow continues to brighten more and more. After a zapping noise, it becomes an opaque object. As far as anyone knows, the core short circuited. Technology belongs with the company who will utilize it properly. Until I know who that is, I'll keep it safe with me and not bring any more attention to it. Sorry, after learning all that, I can't keep using it as a leg up against the competition. Eagle uses regular core from now. What, uh... What if I did destroy it? Technology has already destroyed my family. Dad would still be alive. Mom and Nikki would be happy. It's amazing how one device could... Did I destroy it the first time? Huh. Alright, you know what? Let me go with Keep It Protected then. Because I feel like I did destroy it last time. Alright. First person I have to call is Kauri. It has to be. Hello? Of course it is. Kauri, can we meet? A few seconds of silence pass. Okay. Where are you? At school. <laughs> I'm a little surprised she didn't ask me why. She seems she must have sensed the urgency in my voice. At the hangar, but I'd rather not meet here. Can I meet at your dorm? Yes. She hesitates. Oh, come on with this. Okay. Thanks. I'll see you soon. 
we're breaking up, Cowrie. It's over. I'm chasing Valerie now. Uh, we hang up the phone. Uh, as if in a daze, I make my way to Cowrie's dorm. This time I have no trouble getting past the front desk as I'm soon knocking on her door. Cowrie flings open the door and looks at me intensely before letting me in. I sit on the couch and she sits beside me. What's going on? You're acting a little strange. Uh, no, I think uh, that line was, you're acting really strange. Uh, take two. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, sorry, it's been a long day. There's something I need to tell you. She glances at my clenched hand. We're breaking up. Does it have anything to do with that? Yeah. What is it? I show her the drive. Cowrie gives me a questioning look. It's the data in my core. Why do you have your core's data in your hands? I downloaded it from Eagle. Obviously. But why? I sigh and talk to her. I talk to I tell her everything I learned. She listens quietly, but her expression darkens the longer I talk. I'm gonna have to do a hard save here, I think. Okay. That's so I mean, how does gah! I blink a surprise. It's not often Cowrie's rendered speechless. I know it's a lot to take in at once. That's not it. Well, it is a lot to take in, but I'm sorry your dad put this burden on you. Then she looks sideways at me. But if he had to trust somebody with this decision, I suppose he was right to trust you. So you agree with my choice? Cowrie nods. It's what I would have done. Your core was way more than just a core. Knowing that, how could you continue to use it in the same way? Besides, we can always find you a new core. I'm sure Valerie would enjoy the challenge of building a core from scratch. And you already have some experience in doing that. Plus, I could help too. I would like your help the most. I breathe a sigh of relief as a weight is lifted off my shoulders. I hadn't realized just how anxious I'd been about my decision. A part of me continues to wonder if perhaps I'd act too rashly, but if someone as rational as Cowrie agrees with me, then I know I made the right choice. Yeah, I'm not too worried about finding another core. Cowrie, thanks. Although, if you want to get rid of the source data completely, you might want to talk to Valerie. Since she's worked on your core, she might have a copy of Blueprints or something. Good call. I'll talk to her later. We lapse into silence. Hi, I love you. Sorry, I guess I'm kind of boring to be around right now. Carrie shrugs. Better than you acting like a pervert all the time. Oh, come on. But when I'm being the idiot pervert, it's like the best. Was she trying to make a joke? Sorry. I didn't mean to make light of the situation. I smile warmly. No, it's okay. That's exactly what I needed. I glance at her. For once, she looks sympathetic. <laughs> but her lips are pressed into a thin line. You can't change what's happened in the past. So there's no use dwelling on it. Maybe. There are so many, uh, still so many unanswered questions. I know. It's okay to want to make sense of things, but only if that will help you process what has happened. She hesitates and claps her hands into her, uh, claps my hand into hers and looks into my eyes. If you want to find answers, I will help you. Yay. Really? Yes. Let's do it. I smile at her, with Carrie by my side. Well, okay, no wait. Okay, so that line changes. Okay. Kauri's keeping a brave face for me because she knows I'm vulnerable, but when I look into her eyes, I can see just how worried she is about me. If I go down this hole, who knows if I'll ever be able to crawl out again. I don't want to be with someone who's fixated in the past and able to move forward. Thanks, but I think it's best to leave things where, uh, as they are. She nods and relaxes slightly. We settle into silence. Kauri seeks glances my way, then gently rests her head on my chest. As I feel a gentle weight against me, my mind clears. Like usual, she makes sense. Whether or not Dad told me it doesn't matter now he's gone and no matter uh, speculation can change that i'm lucky to have found someone to keep me grounded with cowrie by my side there's no mystery we can't solve okay hold on let's do it i smile at her with cowrie by my side i don't have to worry but i won't have to worry about losing control if i waver in strength if i get buried in my fear and pain i can always count on her to keep me in line i nod thank you she nods, but I can see she's worried about me. I promise I'll be fine. Her cheeks flush. Who said anything about that? You didn't have to. She looks away as her cheeks redden even more. Don't be stupid. I can only be stu- Again, it's my thing. It's what I do. I be stupid. Only thing, only thing good at. Be real dumb. No use brain. We settle in the silence. Kyrie sneaks glances my way. Yep. Okay, so this is the same still. And she glances up at my touch. Slowly, I close the difference between our lips and kiss her. For once, she doesn't seem surprised or shy away from my touch, but melts into the kiss as we pull away 
I gaze deeply into her eyes. In this moment, I have clarity. It rinses away all my stress and fears. It's okay that I don't have the answers right now because I'm looking at my future. Aww. That's gross. Um, yeah, overwrite that. And it is beautiful. It's also very bright. Okay. Can I do one thing real quick before we do that? Load back. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. It was my quick load, wasn't it? It was a quick save for me. Um, so that's if I keep it protected. But what if I destroy all of it? Then what happens? How does this dialogue okay. change? Oh. Okay, so we still do meet up there. It's been a long day. My core is gone. It's gone? Yep. Yeah. The fierce, fierce scout returned. I can't believe someone would vandalize another person's property like that. We should report this to school administration. They can look at their live feed and track down who did this. No. No, Carrie. Have you told Valerie yet? It might be a long shot, but maybe she's got some blueprints or notes or something and can reconstruct her core since she spent so much time studying it. Carrie. What? I don't need Valerie to reconstruct it. What will you use during matches then? I'll figure something out. She narrows her eyes. You're not making any sense right now. I sigh and tell her everything I've learned. She listens quietly, but her expression darkens the longer I That's talk. That's so... I mean... I know it's a lot to take in at once. That's not it. Well, it is a lot. I'm sorry you're dead. But if he had to try... So you agree with my choice? It's what I would have done. Your core was way more than just a core. Knowing that, how could you continue to use it in the same way? Besides, we can always find you a new... Plus... Okay, so nothing... Although, if you want to get rid of the source data completely... Okay, so it, it, it's not that much of a change. Okay, so we can just go back and just load here, and then we're good. And just end the game. There we go, and it's beautiful. Oh, what a wonderful future. Ah, oh, jeez, something just got in my eye now, too. Yay! Here come the credits and stuff. These are these producers. They did all these things and uh, I guess I can't skip the credits, can I? Oh, yes I can. I can just hit spacebar. Okay. Thank you for playing Ace. We hope you enjoyed it. Okay. All the same things. Yep, that's where you can go. So here. Just right click that mouse button and be on your merry way. I don't want to. Alright, let's see if some different things... Well, are you ready? Here it goes. Yeah, no, that doesn't actually happen. Goodbye. Goodbye! And then we're right back to the main menu. Okay. Alrighty, so that finally ends the cowrie route. Oh, man. That was, um, that was kind of fun. It was nice to see all the different uh, variations and things that could have happened and explore a little bit more. Um... I have had some people say that they want to do a live stream version of Gates Academy and I might actually just do like the VODs and export them to YouTube so that you guys can see um, what a stream on Twitch for me looks like um, and bring it on over here. So um, I'll keep you guys up to date on when I want to do that. But again, I want to thank you all so much for joining me and sitting through with me through another playthrough of Ace Academy. You guys are all wonderful. Um, I will see you next time. Goodbye. Good night, bang, Cowrie! Yes! Oh. oh, so much fun. Cowrie was so rewarding. That was that was a great, great playthrough, man.